Hey. Hello, everyone. Hey. Welcome to the Wasteland Saga. I think we should have named this maybe a maybe a different name. Uh, listen, we are not Sanctum Sacorum Reading Room. As wonderful as Sanctum Sacorum Reading Room is, um, with Jen and who's on that with Jen? I don't I'm, remember. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. But anyways, names are we hard. are we are Mutant Crawl Classics, and this is uh, this is the Wasteland Saga. Uh, last time we finished with our. Our, our character. Can I just say that last time Stuart's character was one of the creepiest, oh like not offensive, God. not it offensive, so but it, Rusty was trusty. Rusty was creepy, right? He was so creepy. creepy. Yeah, I had to shower after the game. I felt dirty. I a little kid gave me gave me this coaster, and I thought, go to you. <sighs> it'll match my pillow. Yeah. Thanks, he hey, 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 hey. Disney Sorry. copyright. You can't flash that on here. Oh, I thought I was hijacking your stream here. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so so when... listen, we were supposed to we were supposed to have uh, Alphinius Goo with us tonight, which, by the way, was a little intimidating for me to jam for because Alphinius is very fun and very He's so um, sweet. He yeah. he gives such good hugs. He does. Oh my gosh. And he was so sad that he couldn't be here tonight. Yeah. He no, felt really bad about it. That's okay. He's had a family emergency, so we've let him off the hook. And so Emily of Corvée Miniatures is here with us. Yeah. Who we love very much. Uh, spent an entire week with at GaryCon. And uh, so we asked and she Still talking said, to us. What? <laughs> she's talking she's to still us. talking to us. Oh, my God. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> that that is not out. what I heard. And I was like, you I know we can't else. talk yes. like that here. Anyways. <laughs> what did you what? hear? I can't even say it. We're on. It started with an F. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, listen, we'll talk off air. We'll talk off air. Um, I'm so confused. So, Emily, welcome to whatever this is. Um, Sorry. La last time on Mutant Crawl Classics, uh, the Wasteland Saga, uh, we had. Did you put the counters up for rerolls and? Guess who forgot? Me. Take I forgot note. to remind you. I'm sorry. Take a note. Okay. I'm I don't even know. Right I now. don't know what the count is. No, it's fine. I can add it. It's just gonna look silly for a minute. No, no, don't, don't add it right now. I'm gonna it's make fine it right now. Don't add it right now. Uh, if you would it. like to, I think it's eight. I think you can get buy player buffs which allows characters to go up a dice on the dice chain. And you can also give them rerolls down in the, uh, the doobly-doo. The doodly-doo. To, to borrow a thing from Matt Colwell. The doobly-doo. Uh, okay, you so the doobly-doo. How many player buffs do we have? I don't know. By my notes, we have two and two, and we leveled. <laughs> no. Oh, that that is total lie, erroneous. Sounds, okay, let's, sounds right to gonna, me. <laughs> we're gonna set them at zero and zero. How about that? Okay. That sounds all uh, oh, right. That that sounds. There you go. So last time, the our our mutant heroes were sent by their village to investigate something in the eastern side of uh, the Coochie Valley. Uh, there, there was like trees being cut down. Well, well, first of all, the, the earth was shaking and there was a lot of smoke. And you guys arrived to find this giant spider that was cutting down trees and burning them. But they were harvesting specific parts of the tree. Um, two types of robots come out of the spider. One is a uh, a timber, a timber jack, and the other is a beaver. Um, and they take care of cutting down trees and scanning and them. What's that? And cutting down Rusty. Yeah, uh, well, you know, and Rusty. That's right. Oh, uh, I just found my notes from last time. According to this, I have... Th this can't be right. Two rerolls and three buffs saved? Well, yeah, I and can see that. That's what I told you. Yeah, we had people playing a lot of points last time, so... Well, I'm not so sense. sure about that, but okay. Too bad we're doing it. 
Too bad, we're gonna need the help. Yes, we Fair. suck. Okay. So, um, so the party investigated, found a di another destroyed village out in the eastern side of the valley, and also went on to uh, find this spider. Right. Uh, a few of you have swung aboard the spider, a la Tarzan. I believe that is Nika and Maple. And you are up sort of towards the head end of the spider. Uh, but then you got shocked. It has sort of an electrical defense system up by the head. Uh, and then out the back of the spider, like when the wood is harvested and the pieces they want are found, these sort of tow cables shoot out the back of the spider, hook the, those pieces of wood and pull them up into the spider. And Dozer and Greg have been pulled up into the spider. And the on last purpose. you saw was that poor, well, yeah, on purpose. And the last you saw poor uh, trusty Rusty had, you know, fallen onto a large pile of wood and climbed under it, not realizing it to be a burn pile and was then subsequently incinerated. But you never saw the body. So trusty Rusty could be back. We never know. Ew. Oh, it was creepy. He was very creepy. Like so creepy. They did a great job playing him creepy. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's start. Um, let's start with the two our two mutants that are on the top of this massive spider that is sort of rumbling and stumbling and cutting and burning everything in sight. So we tried to go towards the two glowy balls. Yeah, right? the two things that look sort of like eyeballs at the front of the spider. Yeah. They're these sort of large balls and you can see sort of static energy sort of uh pulsating within them. But when you guys move to the front of the spider, they basically let off a charge that, you know, you had to make a reflex save for half and that it, you know, it hurt. Um so right now you're sort of where the big it's a like the front of the vehicle has all the legs attached and is crawling and then it drags behind it sort of this massive bulbous thorax or whatever you call that part of the insect. Uh, and on that, there's like these massive flame cannons. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight flame cannons that fire off and sort of burn up all the wood that is not being harvested for whatever minerals or whatever it is they're searching for. And those are on top of the... Like, they're up on top by us? No, if you, if you imagine, like, a bulbous back end to a spider, they're po sticking off that. They actually shoot off the oh, back okay. and sides of the spider. Um, and then the spider at the very front has a number of saw blades, as well as another two of, two of those incinerator cannons. Okay. Um, so from where we are... Trying to stay away from those eyeball things. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Are we able to like see any sort of like electrical panels or anything like that that we could maybe like root around in and unplug stuff? And unplug stuff? No, you don't see anything like that. There's a lot of <clears throat> there's a lot of metal grating and steel sort of carapace all over this thing, going all the way back. However. Between the cannons towards the back, you do see a couple hatches. Uh, and you also know that it is occasionally opening back doors and firing cables out to grab the wood that's being collected. But you don't see any entrances towards the front here. And I think you had originally gone to sort of see if you could see if there was like a windshield. But you kept... You know, you have a feeling you're going to keep getting zapped if you do that. Yeah. So we <laughs> stop doing that for sure. Yeah. Um. Maybe we head for one of the hatches. I guess. Because if it doesn't look like there's anything that we can really mess with outside. Okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> so, would you like to go to the back left or the back right? 
Which one, Maple? Maple doesn't uh, have a nose, but she's touching it. <laughs> back right. Back right. And I drag off of the combat tracker onto this, is that correct? Yep. Okay. So, uh, the two of you sort of clamor across the top of the thing and then slide down the side until you come to a platform. Uh, and let me share... Do I have to reshare the map with everybody? I think probably yes. I don't, I don't have it. You can double click on your token and it'll open. Okay. So can Maple and Nika see where they are? Yep. So in front of you, uh, there's some steps and some access hatches, but they are closed tight. Can um, you open these? Maybe. <laughs> but also, <laughs> now that we're down here on these platforms, the two guns that are by us, yes. do they look like they can be can, messed with at all? Can, can you see them? They should be on yeah. the map. Yeah, yeah so, uh, so, so do they look like they can be messed with? They look like pretty heavy and mechanical, um, and every so often, like, they each have like little pilot lights at the end, and every so often they like target a piece of wood and let out a massive gout of very hot flame. You can even feel it a bit from this platform. Um, but yeah, you think maybe they could be messed with? You'd have to be a little more specific with me on what you were doing. Mostly I'm just looking for like wires or anything that I can get a hold of and yank. Or something that yes, like mechanically some, that an, could be jammed. Like we could. There are a number jammed. of hoses that run down the side of the uh, the cannons, uh, and they do like they're they they are on sort of like these pivots that you know gears or you can see gears turning to sort of elevate and aim them. Okay. Does it look like maybe something could be jammed into those gears? Yes. take out my uh, produce a thorn like a body thorn a body thorn <laughs> okay maple so you got a thorn you're gonna try jamming that in poop it out okay yep and then you stick it into those gears yep try all right to. <laughs> uh yeah it go it goes in however when the gun starts to adjust it easily snaps your Okay. Your spine. Well, well, hold that thought though. Let's go, let's go inside now. To is there any way I can give you vision inside, so that you can show it on a map without? Uh, yeah. Hang on, I'll make a quick cam character. Okay. Uh, inside, Greg and Dozer, you are lying on a very big piece of wood, sort of hiding in amongst the. The branches and that that have come up with it. <clears throat> you are on a conveyor belt. And you can see down into a bay where there's a very large like crane-like arm that is um that's uh has a saw blade on the end of it. You can see that there are a number of uh timber jacks. Uh, moving wood off of other conveyor belts, not the one that you're at yet. Uh, and you can see that they, that it, it, it strikes you odd, but you can see a... Uh, this phone is going crazy. My stupid phone. I'm turning it off right now. Can <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. Um, appar apparently someone likes something I posted. Okay, why won't it let me bring? Oh, I know. I'm not. I'm not supposed to pull off of there. Turn your grinder notifications off. If that's what. It, that's. Oh, dude. That's what it was. You see, you're very quick. Can you guys now see uh, Tina Horton on the map? I, I don't know if you can see her or not. But okay, so you can see that there is a manimal, a Canadian goose manimal, uh, and Cobra chicken. They are chained. They're chained uh, 
to a very large piece of machinery. I've made the camera, so you'll have to drop it on the combat tracker, but you'll be able to drag it on. Who is that? Who's that picture of? It's Jeff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> thank you. Where did you find that? Your Facebook. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Okay. There's better ones. So let's, no, let's I like see. That Does one. that... Does that work? Does that work for you? Can you see yeah, inside now? I can see everything. Perfect. Um, <laughs> that's great. Okay, where did the where? But where did the token is so tiny? I made it small so it doesn't show up very much. No, but I put some. I put some robots down, and now they're gone. It Are does say hidden? a check mark on their placement. Are they hidden? Maybe. Oh, you have to drop the encounter onto the combat tracker, and that will make the put them where you put them. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, I got you. We're learning here. We're learning I, here. I tried, but I don't know Fantasy Grounds very well either, so... Okay, so there's there's three of these Timbar Jacks uh, moving around in here, uh, dragging brush and that in. And this... Pardon me, I mean, the map can only be so so correct, but this this thing in the middle, can you see the crane with the arm... It's currently holding up a box. I want you to imagine a big saw blade on the end of that. And it's like cutting wood that the, that the three robots drag around. This uh, tree we're hiding in, how heavy is it? How big is it? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty big, there's a pretty big log here. And there's a, like a, num a bit of smaller brush in here too. Like could Greg and I shove it off the conveyor belt? Sure. Is that what the two of you want to do? I well, I was just thinking... Pick up the brush and, like, walk across the room with it, and then if anybody looks, <laughs> sit down Just keep it. dropping down? Well, I was thinking if we knock the, the tree off the conveyor belt, then one of the one of the robots will have to come and inspect before we get to all three of them in a big saw blade. I, I was, yeah, I was going to ask, cause do we see any control panels for that saw blade anywhere? Uh, no, it it appears to be running of its own volition. That's unfortunate. It's sentient. Now, the the entire chamber here, like you can hear like all kinds of like hissing and whining of pistons and uh, you know like machinery moving. Uh, obviously, this is a construct construct of the ancients, and then like. The poor goose is strapped to a very large piece of machinery that sort of is vibrating as it runs, and uh, you know the whole the whole room seems to be shaking because of it, and it's very loud in here. Uh, how do you get that map back up? I closed it. Uh, if you double click on your, oh, I got. There we go. Okay. Go. Do you want me to distract the robots and you can go make friends with your? Fellow animal. That sounds like a better plan than I had. Okay, well, let's help me push the tree off the conveyor belt, and then you can ride it a little further and jump off, and I'll try and get their attention or something. Okay, so you're gonna you push the tree off the conveyor belt. Yeah, and then I'll jump down with it. Okay, Dozer. So put put yourself. Do I have to unlock, or can you guys move oh. your own? I can move. Okay. So put yourself at the end of that conveyor belt and um and immediately like these timber jacks begin to approach you. No, only one's supposed to come. The others are supposed to not yeah, come. Two yet. of the two of them do. One of them keeps doing its work over here. Uh let's jump back outside very quickly. So outside, what is Mika and Maple? What are you guys doing? Uh, well, I guess we can start slashing some of the wires and stuff. Yeah, cutting some of the, the hoses that you said were there. Okay, what are, you, what are you using to cut the hose? I have a dagger. I have like a flint dagger or a okay. spear. And which, and which gun are you doing? This, this first one that's below you on the map or? Yeah, the one that's closest to me, I guess. Okay, okay. Did Go you ahead take us and... off the map? No. No, we're still there. 
I can't can see. You, can, can you not see you? Oh, wait, yourself there I anymore? am. Got it. Do you have it? Okay. I got it. So, uh, Nika, go ahead and give me an attack roll with your dagger. Uh, I'm going to move you down here a bit as you lean out to cut it. Yeah, nicely done. How much damage? Too so you down. nick you nick it, but uh, not nothing happens. You want to slice at it again? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Nine. Roll, roll again. <laughs> As you like, lean out and you miss. That that got it. That got it. And some more damage for me. Okay, so this time you cut through it, and then immediately the hose begins to spray around like some, like like you've cut the head off a snake, and you are covered in a very um, strange smelling fluid. I, I just became a human torch. <laughs> it like gets all over your clothes uh, and everything. It, it and it's it has a very strong smell. Cool. You stink. However, at the end of that gun, that little flame that was burning out by the end of it, it sort of sputters, sputters, and goes out. Okay. But you did a good job, even though you're stinky. I might as well do the other one since I'm already covered in this stuff. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to move up to this one? Yeah. Okay, give me a couple attacks there. Because you're kind of leaning out to reach what you need to reach to cut it, right? Uh, that hit. Yeah, I have hit? a spear I can use, too. Yeah, I think the da I think the dagger is the more appropriate. Cut. That's so with one cut again. This tube flies everywhere um, and coats you down with more stuff. Maple, do you want to give me a reflex save to see if you get covered in it too? Not really. <laughs> DC eleven to not be covered in. Ten. Oh, so close. Use the thing. Use the thing. Reroll. Or you could burn a lock. Remember. Nope. Reroll. Okay, so this time you managed to avoid it, and uh, Nika, you are you are covered head to toe in. I'm extra flammable. A very strong smelling fluid. Wood. Yeah. That's... And again, the gun over here sort of sputters and goes out. Can we jump back inside now? Let's jump back inside. Absolutely. Um. And. Uh, so the Timbars come over and look at the two of you. I would like to, like, take some sticks and hide, hold them in front of me. Yeah, we're hiding behind the branches. <laughs> we're make, really... Make suit. I learned from, uh, Trusty Rusty how to hide Are you bushes. both doing that? Well, I thought Greg was gonna... Yeah, I'll stand up then. Fine. I gotta distract you. Oh, if he's You're gonna distract him. Hi guys. I'm gonna try and sneak around. Okay. What's going on? Awful yeah. woody around here. So they they look at you and they're like, uh, "Can you give me a actually? Can you give me an AI recognition check?" I sure can. I hope I roll better than last time. AI, there it is. Oh, look at you. So they come Pretty over and they're like, yeah, they come over and, and stop. And then the bear's sneaking around the edge as a moving bush. <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> correct. I'm holding, I'm doing everything I can to hold what her. Are doing? Um, so, so they look, they look you up and down there, uh, dozer. And they say, um, how may we help you? How may we assist? Uh, status report. Harvesting of the element. Harvesting of the element is going well. Which element? Element four two six. Four two six. How close to quota are we? Quota. 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 Yeah, they they don't seem to understand. <laughs> error. That. Error. Error. Okay, bush bear, you come up next to this Canadian goose who is firmly manacled to the 
the engine that is rumbling behind her. I just see a moving, like, shrub. <laughs> yeah, you basically see a bear trying to look like a shrub. <laughs> I used my disguise kit. I used my disguise kit. So, do you, like what do you say? snapping at the air. What are, you, what are you doing in here? One of those geese with teeth. You totally have teeth. If I let you out, you're, gonna, you're not gonna you're not gonna nip me, are you? I don't know. Who are you? Or like chase me across the room? Think about it. Get me out of here. You wanna get out of here? Yes. Uh alright, I'm gonna look I'm just looking if I have you said they're they were chained? Uh, yes, they have manacles and, you know, chains that are... Yeah, that's, that's out of my realm of... <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't really have anything I think I could break a chain with. Um, you throw your broken pistol at it? Oh, wait, uh, wrong guy, sorry. I lost the broken pistol. Yeah. Can I can I pull out a little bear claw and try to pick the... Try well, the pick... manacle doesn't have a keyhole. It has, like a like, a little keypad on it. Oh, okay. This is, I forgot we're high tech here. Yeah. yeah. I'll, try to, I'll try to hack it. Do, do you want to try to get that to work? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So give me a, um, give me an artifact check at uh, CM2. All right. That's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, as you're mucking around with the buttons, there's, like, a pop, a snap, and, like, a spark comes out of them. And then, uh... You, you know what? I'm gonna re-roll that. Hang on. Hold no, on. no. I think it's oh, you're gonna use a re-roll? Yeah, I think that, because that two damage might actually kill me. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll that. Use a buff, I too. I, I don't think it will kill you, but, you know... You know what? It's funnier if I mess it up. Go ahead. Okay, so you get shocked by the manacles, but you do break them in such a way that they do open. But you do take two damage. Do I? And at this, damage, or does the yeah. goose take two damage? No, you take two damage because mm, you had your finger in it. You had your finger in it, so you take a shock. Um, Who's a ghast, and you're trying to get me hurt, Jeff? The robots are like. Uh, quota, uh, could we see your identification, sir? Absolutely. I will produce my Timbar axe and I will smash number one in the head. <laughs> Go ahead and roll with the Timbar axe. Uh, no, it's the Jack axe, isn't it? Oh, the Jack axe, yes, Jack axe. Yeah, hit him with the Jack axe. That's, that's what I am. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. How much damage? Three. three damage. Oh, well, listen, it's I not didn't. dead. It's not dead, my dude. Um, but it's definitely damaged. Uh, give me a moment here. Oh, did you have it targeted? So it did the day. Look at you. Yeah. I'm so proud I'm of you. To be special. You're, Thank you're you. like learning how to use this fantasy ground stuff. So good. Okay, so not only do you like when you hit the robot, like all of a sudden, all these red lights on the roof start spinning and and flashing, and Excellent. uh. And it says, um, it's, it, it starts, uh, a voice comes over the loudspeaker and it's like, uh, fuel leak, fuel leak, investigate timber jacks, investigate. And this timber jack over here, like walks over to a set of doors here and is going to open those doors, if the DM can figure out how to turn those doors off, uh, unlock the room, maybe? There we go. Walls? Yeah. Yeah. Small victories here, people. Small victories. We'll, we'll go um, over putting doors into the layouts after. Okay. Well, I do yeah, have them I don't here. know how to turn them off. I there know how to put them on here. map. How do I turn them off? They should be clickable if they're actually doors. 
Oh, look, I just opened it, literally. Yeah. Okay, so as you guys are standing there and there's fuel all over your friend, um, this Timberjack arrives uh, and is, like, looking at you like, what are you doing here? Uh, we're oh, just going to go right into I... initiative since we've had an attack happen inside. I hold perfectly still. I'm Granary. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, uh, so... So roll your initiative, everybody. Oh, uh, 85. Um, oh, I should have reset maybe the initiative before we did that. Roll NPC's initiative. There we go. Um, uh -huh. Tina, are you aware of how to roll initiative on this darn thing? Have you done this yeah, before? I think so. I think I did it right. I got a really terrible roll, as per usual. Okay, so uh, top of the round is Greg. Greg, you hear, you hear, um, Dozer hit this guy with the axe, and the lights go off and everything. And another Timberjack opens a door out onto a platform. So, what would you like to do? I'm gonna, as the goose loose the goose is loose i mean you paid for it with an electrical shock but you got the manacles to pop off okay i will you actually him. broke them like you didn't like release them you got in there and broke them and yeah but they opened i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little parkour here i'm gonna drop down onto all fours and i'm gonna pounce across the room like this and i'm gonna jump off this box and kind of come down with my durasteel weapon on the on the on the lower on the uh and just to be clear your dura steel weapon is like the foot off another robot is that yes, correct? correct yeah okay let's do that all right parkour uh, dura, parkour sorry, dura, dura alloy dura alloy weapon yeah dura alloy uh sorry. oh you oh you you connect uh how much how much damage is that is this the one he hit already hit the one I'm yes hit? it is yes it is Let's do some damage here. Uh, that's not the right button. Uh, no, you rolled there attack we again. There we go. Four. Nicely done. Uh, listen, between the axe hit and the and the and the and the boot that you just smacked it with, its head is cockeyed, but it hasn't come off yet, <laughs> and, and it looks in a bad way. Uh, Nika. Um, okay, I'm going to... So you see you see this Timberjack standing in the doorway <laughs> looking seeing, at Maple. Seeing Maple freeze like they're trying to be a tree in the middle of a metal freaking platform. Just gonna throw my spear at this thing and try and hit it in the head. I like that idea. Let's give that a go. <laughs> I'm a Whip tree. that spear. <laughs> Not with that. So the spear goes right past it and into the chamber beyond. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Hey, it wasn't a crit. It wasn't a critical mi Dozer? Yes? Come back to your turn. I'm going to I'm gonna put two hands on the half of this axe, and I'm going to do a uh, World of Warcraft Warriors whirlwind move, and I'm going to try and hit them both if possible. Okay, so uh, that deals with your. Um, do sentinels get the sort of heroic attack that? Uh, yeah, exactly. Let me uh, just check it quick, and then I'll let you know. Uh, uh, I say they, yes. <laughs> they don't. But here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that you can do that, but you have to roll a d16 to hit instead of a d20. So okay, you're gonna so mi minus minus, dice? minus one dice, please. Okay. And, and the, the attack will count for both, whatever you roll. Okay. I have a good feeling about this. Trust me, guys. I I don't. Oh, it was almost an eighteen. <clears throat> uh, fifteen is still a hit. You oh, you do okay. hit them both. So how much damage? Max. Holy cow! Um, you 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 take them both out, my man. You take them both out. Where where was this the other day? Who put the blood stain on? Does it do that automatically? Yeah. I guess so. That's pretty sweet. 
should be oil, but you know, it's fine. Oops, sorry, I guess I should have targeted I, I should have targeted the other one. It was part of the update that came out not that long ago because that happened on Friday night when we were fighting that vampire. I noticed yeah. when you killed the one, all of a sudden there was a blood stain on the floor. I'm like, I did not put that there. I was very confused how... about how you did it, and then I saw it on Monday. Yeah. I don't know which Jack this is. How do I? How can I tell that? Oh, I know how. If I like, actually, like, go here. I think it is this one. So this guy just took. It's the one by Dozer. Nine points of damage. Okay, and then when I delete it, it will. Put another blood stain down? Yeah. This is kind of <laughs> gruesome. I mean, I'm That's not... freaking awesome. I'm not against it, but wow. Fancy. All right. For the record, uh, that's hydraulic fluid, not blood. Can you give me your, your hide check there, uh, uh, Maple? Yeah. <laughs> sure, it'll be I fine. I want it to work so bad. No. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, yeah, it did. Um. So listen. Uh. He sees the. Uh, he sees the. Uh. The. Oh, the spear. Here. The spear fly past. He then scans Maple. A beam of light comes out of his eye. From top to bottom, and it goes white over her entire body until it gets like down. Uh. Sort of between her chest and abdomen, and then you see like little blue sparkles appear on his scan. He then walks over and picks her up and carries her inside, and the door shuts behind him. No! You're a branch. Like a tree branch. I'm a tree! <laughs> oh, no. He, he totally thinks that uh, um, she is um, what he's looking for, and he just closes the door behind him. Click. I thought he was inspecting a fuel leak. Well, he was, but then he found what he, you know... What he was looking Easily for. Easily distractible there. robot. <laughs> exactly. Don't They look. have programmed Don't judge me. ADHD, okay? Okay. Program. Don't judge me. He walked out there and was attacked, so he grabbed the bush and ran. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course. You guys are okay. Children. Okay. <laughs> um Blow up. So uh so it's now Tina Horton. The uh, the mutated goose who has just been liberated. Uh, what would you, what would you like to do, Tina? I would like to fly over to the one that's left. Yes. And fight him and try to like rip the uh, wires out of the yeah, just, back of his just neck for or the, something. Just for the record, we're goose biting him. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm here for it. Here we go. We'll see if it works. Probably not. Seven? <laughs> I was muted, wasn't I? Damn it. I love I love how I love how you're like, seven? Can I Well that it? Can you, that can you pick me a word picture on how you fly? I need to know if it's like arms or you actually have wings. I think my wings are my arms. Is that right? According to the artwork, that's what it is. And one of them has a mom tattoo on the shoulder. And I'm, <laughs> I'm flying <laughs> like a big old awkward yeah, bird. Totally. Totally. And I, maybe instead of missing the attack, I like overshoot them a little bit. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Just You're like... very aggressively like... <laughs> Wings flapping and uh in goose true neck, Canadian goose style. Goose neck out. Yes, exactly. I'm a klutzy exactly. goose. Exactly. Um Who do we have next? Because that bite missed. Maple. Yeah. I'm going to uh thrust out a thorn like a porcupine. And like okay. hit him in the shoulder or whatever. However, he's carrying me. <laughs> hit him in the head. Go, ghost, right in the head. Ghosty wants to know if there was hissing because 
There's always hissing when they charge. Uh, <laughs> That's a cat. And I think I'm going to use the Go ahead and attack, Maple. Okay, so you're going to up one dice. Mm. Die. Ooh, two. Mm. <laughs> that didn't work out in my favor at all. No, no. Dang it! Do you want to re-roll, or are you gonna let that go? I'll try to re-roll. Is the re-roll at a buff too? Or yeah, just a regular? it's whatever you rolled is re-rolled. Okay. Yeah. Thirteen. Uh, that's better. That's uh, that's a hit. Okay. I do one damage. <laughs> one? Yep. Literally just a little poke. Ghosty gave us two rerolls. I got it. Thanks, Ghosty. Ghosty gave us two rerolls. Thank you, Ghosty. Uh, so listen, it's now top of the initiative again, and Greg, you can go. <clears throat> I uh, I pull out another I pull out another cigarette and I light it up. Yep. And I'm gonna scurry around this way and kind of try to hide behind this. Oh, that's a saw blade on a box. That's not. Yeah, what I, yeah. Not the, what I uh, so that arm is uh, is pivoting around, cutting wood, and it does not seem like it's it's not reacting differently. I don't want to be near that. I'm gonna go to here. Okay. And I would like to, th I figure that's probably about as close as I can get, so I'd like to throw my spear at that jackpot. Absolutely. Kind of hoping I miss, because she, she she's being carried by the jackpot, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. I really hit. Mm. Okay. Uh, do I need to target that? Let's see if that works. Uh, four damage. Four damage? Did that work? I don't know if it did on the. No, it didn't. But I'll give. Did I'll give it the four damage. Open or on their. Oh wait a minute! Yes, it did. Yes, it. I think it did. Um... I. You can drag and drop the damage and the attack from the tray onto the icon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Instead of targeting like using the control button, you can just drop your attack dice on, on the okay. token, and that works. Okay. So yes. So you fly over and sorry. What did you throw at it? A wooden spear. Nice. Nice. It lands and finds its mark. Uh, now we're on to Nika. Um, I'm going to go, like, to the door. Yeah. Is there a way to, like, open the door? There is a panel. I... I try to, like, figure out how to open the door. Okay, so you begin to try to figure out, but I can tell you that it is locked from the inside and you are unable to open it from the outside. I just knock sadly on the door. You guys hear a sad, <laughs> you guys hear a sad little knock from the outside like, Hello? Uh, let me in, guys. I'm Most cold keepy. there are wolves after me. <laughs> oh, Steven. There's, oh, Steven. there isn't any other like... Me casa, su casa. There isn't any other like thing I can mess with out here is there like the you said that the hoses were like leaking fuel all over the place yes is there a way that I can like I don't know spread that somewhere out here sure you want to try to Since grab I'm the hose and like spray it all over it. the spider yeah <laughs> okay reminds me of Zoolander with the gas fire. like get a hold of it and, like if you ever put your thumb over the end of like a garden hose yeah, sort of like make yeah, like that. Make it go farther. And yeah, you're just, you're just spraying it all over the outside of the machine. Yeah, pretty much. Because what could point. go wrong with that? Yeah. Okay, okay cool. It's for, it's fine. I'm I'm the one that does the art, so <laughs> if I have to make a new character, it's fine. Fair enough. <laughs> what, if, what if you burn us all alive on the inside and you survive? I don't care. <laughs> Don't, those Our are... goose may be cooked. But a bunch. Oh, I don't know if I watch where I throw my cigarettes from now on. Uh, Dozer? Sorry. Yes, sir, that's me. What would you uh, like to do? As there is, like, broken robots all around you. I've got a and, movement of 30. And two more jackaxes if you want them. Where are they? 
I don't see any. Well, they're lying on the ground where they killed the oh, lumberjack. Oh, so I thought you meant, sorry, I'm thinking those are tin bars, not jackasses. Yeah. yeah. I have a couple of hallways. Um, I guess I'll go see what's down here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. What do I see? What do you see? Because that tin bar, right? No, right? that tin bar isn't dead. The tin bar up here that they're fighting. No, they're still not. fighting one. It's not dead. Oh, i sorry. I thought it was dead. Uh, so I would have not done that. You're between the, the blood smears there, yeah. yes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. How did I go from 60 feet away to 40 feet away if I move 30 feet? Oh, because I'm moving half squares, that's why. Never mind. I'm new. <laughs> Shush. Uh, and I will You're throw my so spear. You're so pretty. Okay, throw your spear. I rolled a two. Does that hit? Uh, that no, it does not. What if it no, was it a three? Uh, it would still not hit. Okay. So Doing I'm so sorry. good. I'm sorry to say that. Um, the tradition continues. You know that's <laughs> the way it is. Well, I killed two last time, so okay, I can. I have a. Quite, I think I have done something wrong here um, on agree. the map. Anyways, following this, we might have to take just a moment break for someone to explain Fantasy Grounds to me. Okay. Um, so it's it's still up and it's still up and moving it's its turn believe it or not and it will attack uh not maple but the the ferocious goose it swings <laughs> its it swings its uh it's dura alloy axe at you uh it totally hit um, and with that, uh, the goose is dead. No, I'm just kidding. Five points of damage to the goose. That's, that's pretty, uh, that's significant. So, boom, it hits you with an axe. Uh, and it yells, timber, timber. Ugh. And now it's the goose's turn. I guess, well, I have one option. I'm gonna goose bite it. <laughs> Goose bite it. Oh. Oh. Come on, Tim Horton Dice. <laughs> Does that work? It's a 13. 13 is a hit. How much damage do you do? Lucky 13. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. I think you just rolled attack just... again. No, you didn't. There we go. Four damage. Wow. Oh. Four. That finishes it. <laughs> Oh, does it? Okay. So, yes, it does. So you bite it. Like where where do you bite. bite it? Where do you bite it? Just right at the back of the head. If there's like some sort of important looking cable or something, I'm just like shredding it with my goose teeth. Okay. Yeah, it's down. It is down. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that smear you left. Okay. It's a so smear. A smear. Mm. It's a smear. Get out of my bagel. Uh, is there a way to ref to refresh an encounter? Because I thought I made separate encounters, but what I think I actually did was copy <clears throat> that encounter to other places. And now it's not giving me the tokens to work with. Uh, yeah, so you can actually open the encounter again and where the check mark is, just click that again and it should give you the new icon, but you'll have to replace it. Oh, Thank you so much. You're welcome. That worked. That worked perfectly. Okay. Um, yes, that's wonderful. Okay. So we don't we don't need to worry about a break then. That's still the holding a You're still holding still, and the three of you have uh, the, the three of you inside have dealt with the jack bog. The uh any, the any way the to disable timbar, the saw timbar jack. Uh, well, there are some cables running across the floor to it. Three in total. I'll chop them. With what? With the, with the stone axe. Because okay, I learned. In uh, can my... I get? Can I get three attacks then? You, I yes. don't need damage. Um. Oh, sorry. You said you're using a stone axe, aren't you? Yes. 
Okay, well, that's good because that's not a conductor. So that's you chop through. You chop through, and there's like wires and sparks and everything. Um, but you are un, you know, you are unaffected. And as you cut the final one, um, actually, pardon me. No, I'm sorry. I, when you cut the second one, I need you to make a reflex save as the blade begins to swing just wildly, like a tilt a whirl going around the room. It's like. Oh, Oh no. Uh you do Ooh. not get hit by it. That's nice. a wonderful reflex save. And then you cut the third one and that's when it all comes to a grinding halt. All right. I'd like to salvage the blade and make a shield out of it if I can. I love it. Yes. Yes. Just gonna um... knock sadly on the door. Nika <laughs> Nika. I didn't hear the knocking. I don't know. Uh, let me in. Actually, as Maple moves over towards the door and reaches out to knock on it, it just automatically like goes and opens for you. I'm standing there holding a hose, like oh. And you're both like knocking at air right now. I'm because... magical. Yeah, you are. And uh, yeah, the door. The door is now. I think I've opened it. I think. Yeah. I think I've. Yep, I, think I I've can done, see. I think I've done the thing. Okay. And uh, you're taking the saw blade as a shield, right? If this I could, so yes. Cool. Yes. Um, those... I di Listen, I I'll be honest with you. I didn't think of that. So that let is... me, I'll create an item very quickly and get that to you. Um, a stabbing shield or a slicing shield or something. Yes, a, a bladed shield. Great idea. Okay. Thank you. The axes that those things were carrying, are they like, Drowling. like you need to be like a barbarian to carry those? No, no. Or is it something that I can wield too? Because I, I, all I have is like a crappy little dagger. So, <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to? I will drag. Okay, so there's three of them. I will drag those over into the party sheet, and anybody, you know, is welcome to grab a jackass. I would like a jackass, please. I'm pretty sure that is not what I said. I said Aren't jackass. Aren't you against axes, just on principle? Yeah. Don't you um. Okay, so there are three jack axes in the uh, in the loot table, and uh, I'm gonna have to modify a leather shield here. So just give me a second. We're gonna pull sure. that over, and then I think I can go into the actual item. Uh, and what I'm gonna do? Call this a Dura steel blade shield. You know what? I don't think it'll let me call a piece of armor a weapon as well, Jeff. But oh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it gives you a a plus two armor class bonus if it's equipped. Yes. Nice. Because it is made of metal, right? It's not made of leather. Um we can always code in a, a, a Yeah, weapon. we can always code in an attack button. Like a shield for using the shield, shield bash like a, or whatever. Like a shield yeah. bash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, give me a, a moment Steve to button? do that on. The, let's do that on the break if yeah, you're cool Steve with button. that. Yeah, but no for, problem. But for now, you do have. Uh, it is in the party sheet. Um, the okay. Dura Steel, the I Dura Steel shield. Yep. Yeah, just drag that to your inventory. And anybody who wants an axe, there's three in there as well. Uh, and the lights overhead are still flashing. Uh, fuel leak. Fuel leak. Fuel leak. That was all, Nika. He made the fuel leak. Yes, yes, I did, as I'm just, like, trying to, like, slough it off of me as best as I can. Yes. <laughs> so I'm it less smells flammable. Horrible. Everybody can smell that, you know, basically, Nika smells like she was at the gas station for all of her, you know, life. She's just, like... <laughs> your whole life. You yes, smell whole, your whole really life. weird, but I guess My... you're okay. <laughs> My poor little antennas are all like scrunched up because they're unhappy. <laughs> and, and now everyone is standing looking at the goose that was freed. Hello. Cigarette, anybody? Cigarette? Greg. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Tina's not very smart. She'll take one. <laughs> I like go I really far away from like. Stay really far away from that. 
Nika, Nika moves away. Nika, are the wires still sparking? By the... No, no, they're no. not. But the engine okay. is still rattling. What? What's Hi. your name? Nina. You're a goose. Thor. I'm a tree. Thor. I hide in plain sight again. <laughs> I'm, I'm Nika, like mystified. That... Oh. I don't do a very good job. <laughs> okay. Any way to shut the engine off? Not that we saw strap when we came it. in. No, you don't see a way to shut it off, but... Um, what if I hit it with a stone axe? Do you want to do that? Well, sure. is there a way well, that I could haul one of those? Happens. Could I haul one of those fuel hoses in here and just like let her rip and have everybody get out? The fuel hose will not reach the door. Okay. Can you just like roll around the room a little bit, wring your clothes out. We'll do the same right, thing. Yeah. I mean, if you would like to, uh, if you'd like to keep the door open, you could probably like water hose it like, into the. It. Yeah, but uh, yeah. but you'd just be creating like a small puddle here. Oh, okay. I, I just broke my stone axe because I critically failed on hitting the, the motor. Okay, so you walk <laughs> over to the motor to swing your axe? <laughs> yeah, yeah. so listen, the weapon shatters. Like the half to... You hit it and it's like hitting a, like a, a big piece of iron, which is what basically the engine is. And your, po your poor stone axe breaks, dude. The, so the, I can repair the, it. You totally can, yes. But it's useless junk for now. Like, I basically... Like, the strapping... Wing it, wing the, it the, strapping the strapping that holds the stone head in place on the end of the axe, that snaps and it falls out. So you've got to re-tie it into place. It'll take ten minutes of work. I'll, I'll hand the axe head to Greg for now so that if he wants to throw it at someone, he can. Okay. But maybe later like, when we're not in the middle He just likes to spider. throw things. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do I know where is the rest of my... You don't. So the Timberjacks brought you in here. Um, oh. You're not even sure they brought your equipment with you. So uh, they brought you in here. They, they tied you up to that machine. And you've been there for about a day watching them cut wood and... Yeah. That's... And har and you know that once they have the, you do know Tina that once they have it harvested, they head uh, for lack of a direction here. They head south with those pieces, and then they don't come back with them. They come back to get more. Oh, do we know where the pieces are going once Wait. they've been harvested? No, like they come in here, they get cut, and then they get they go somewhere for storage. Oh, they go down uh, down the the uh, walkway here between the and like. Down beside the engine, towards if the map is like if the map is up or down, they take it south. They take it towards the head of the spider. What are so you where I'm to standing, where I'm standing, I can see something that looks like it's sparking on the map. Yeah, so you can see like one of those energy orbs, very similar to the eye, but this one is arcing lightning, like electricity, all over the room, bright, bright, hot light. Hmm. Okay. You should go check it out. Well, don't get here too close like, to it. Tie around my waist to, like, seal the slash in my stomach up. Sure. Do sure. Actually, Where's Trusty some, Rusty when you need him? With his some, some, of the, some of the people that have rescued you, they actually have, like, dirty bandages on them and everything. You could always ask oh. to borrow some. I'll take Girl. my dirty bandages off and give them to, to the goose. Because I'm done with them. I stopped bleeding. Okay, so... I'll spit on them and rub them together to clean them up and the, like Rusty showed me. Like Rusty showed you, yes? Yeah. Rusty was uh, a great healer, actually. I, I learned a lot from him. He was a he was a doctor. Yeah, Dr. Rusty. Yeah, yes. Dr. Rusty, no less, yes. Yeah. Um. So, Nika, what you can see on the floor beside this, like, big electrical pulsing orb is there's tools can you see the toolbox on the floor there yeah i was just gonna so say that looks like uh that's your, there. your 
wrench there from last yeah, time. <laughs> that's there. Uh, and lying beside that big wrench in the toolbox is um, a blackened skeleton of what was maybe a human, but it's impossible to tell. Like, it's been hit by electricity so much. And all of the, the like, like, all of the, um, there's two, there's a large tank to either side of this orb. And, like, it's just arcing energy across that. Okay. So, like, a, a beam of energy, like, hits it. And, like, the <laughs> whole tank glows with energy for a moment and then it stops. And then maybe another beam hits it and it does it again. Okay. I see wires going across the floor. Is that what's yes. going to that arcing wires thing? Are, wires are legit, yes. The wires are coming from the arcing thing across to a another ancient machine of some type with lights flashing on it, and yeah. Look like and, I can but get the to the machine? To that other device. Like... Oh, Nika, sorry, Nika, what was that? Does it look like I can get there without getting zapped? Yeah, well, yes. As long as you stay on the side of the room that you walked, you feel relatively safe. So, uh, as you come around here, there is a control panel. Uh, I wish I could ping the map, but to the north of you, there is a control panel. And it has dials and lights and knobs on it. Okay. Uh... Can it... Any of us read the ancient language? I can't remember if this was this group or the last one. Uh, no, if, if someone wants to see if they can learn to work that control panel, they would need to give me uh, an artifact check. Can I try? You guys want to give me 10 minutes yeah. I can fix my stone axe and just chop the wires. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, CM is 2. CM is 2? Okay. Mm. Up a little bit. There we go. Go ahead and give me the artifact check there, Nika, and we'll see what happens. Ooh. Oh. So listen, you basically come to understand what that what these what this control panel here is for is to open the rear hatches and fire the tow cables onto the wood. And, but it is running totally independent of a operator. But okay. you sort of, like, you maybe push a couple buttons and the back doors open and things like that. And not that you can see them. Someone's maybe shouting to you, hey, a door opened. But, like, it's not long as Nika sits there looking, like, you rolled really well. Sits there, that, that Nika now knows how to sort, Nika now knows how to open the rear doors and to activate uh, the tow cables that are being fired out and pull wood or other items up into the spider. Hmm. And there are three tow three hatches and three tow cables in total. Okay, but no way to shut this arcing thing off. Uh, you don't think that this has any sort of relation to that arcing thing, to the best of your knowledge? Okay. Can I get to uh, the panel to the south without getting arced? Where the wires are going or coming from? Yes, yes, you can. So, Tina, you walk up there. You can see the arcing orb. I know the I know the art art here. It looks more like I don't know, like a bunch of I don't know some sort of uh, radio tower or something. But it isn't. It, it is looks like some sort of uh, glass steel. Um, you've seen you've seen this sort of see through material before. That's really hard um, from the from the age of the ancients, uh, and it is just glowing white, and these different arms of arcing energy keep peeling out of it and touching things around it. Uh, all right, Dozer, you get up to this other uh, machine here and uh, you can see uh, the cables running across the floor again. Um, well, I don't really know a lot about this lighty stuff, so I'm just going to take my flint dagger and cut the wires. Okay. So you like hold the wire up and cut and cut. And again, your flint dagger does not have any sort of con conductiveness. However, as uh, once Dozer completes that, um, Nika, your panel goes dead. 
all the lights go off on it, and uh, one one door at the rear is left open. Okay. And I'm going to say it's the center door. Um, give me a moment and I'll make that adjustment. Okay, so the rear center door is now open. Is there a way to get around over to the other side, the other wires on the other side without getting so zapped? What you can see, you can actually see on the other side um, that there is... Uh... Oh, how do I do that now? There we go. You can see three more of those timber jacks um, and they are working uh, control panels over there. I just kind of like lean over to everybody, like, "Hey, did maybe they if we on, call did they show up on the map? Can you see them? I can see one. Yeah, so you maybe are only catching glimpses of them, but there, there, there are three of them over there. Maybe if we egg them this way and then shove them into that electrical thing. They have not noticed you yet. You uh, Greg, Greg, you feel you are dangerously close. Every so often, one of those electrical sort of things crackles across the roof above you there. I move back. They seem to like me if I am a tree. You're a very good tree. Thank you. What's the range of a wooden spear? On a wooden spear? Like how far you yeah. can throw it? Yeah. Um, That's a good question. Let me see if I have that here. That's There's no, nothing uh... listed in the item that I can see. Well, I don't yeah, want to be sure. too far-fetched here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say you could throw it uh, about 40 feet. Okay, I can't hit him from over here. I'd have to go around. For lack of just knowing off the top of my head. Um, items. What kind of spear is it? Uh, uh, it's a wood spear. Wood spear. Yeah, it just says D5 damage, but I'll say you can throw that about 30, 40 feet. Okay. Um, I can't get, I can't reach them without getting zapped. Unless I go up and around. Why don't mm -hmm. we just make a bunch of noise? Then they have to pass by it anyway. Make noise. You want to start honking? Yeah. <laughs> honking? Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll start. I'll start tapping on the wall with the my axe, trying to get their attention and holler. Okay, and so you guys start a... to make as much noise as possible. Uh, yes. You may you maybe see that like one of them like at their controls leans back and looks over in your direction, but then goes back to working the controls. Uh, however, however, what um, have we attracted? Yeah, it, you are attracting the attention of something. Uh, I'm just not sure. If, I'm trying to see if I had an encounter actually set for it. I thought I could just drag and drop these as needed, but I guess I can't do that. You can. You drop them on the combat tracker, and then you put the token from the combat tracker on the map. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So hold on. Let me do that. So as you guys are clanking away, making a whole bunch of noise. Um, I'm a tree. I'm a tree. I'm a tree. Oh, you're, oh. you're a very good tree. <laughs> That's the worst. Uh, so uh, as you do that... Holiday. Um, and this, can I make this? Yeah, I can make you're this. doing great, right. sweetie. Oh, no. Uh, as you're doing this, a very large uh, robotic beaver comes around the corner. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it looks at you. And then it's like, intruders, intruders. And uh, we are going to roll initiative here. But give me a moment to see if I can reset this initiative there we go clear all initiatives perfect okay now roll initiative for me 
I ask you for a status report. That is my initiative of suck all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, do you want to roll me? Um, oh no, it doesn't matter in this case. No, don't don't, don't worry about it. Um, oh, doing great, awesome. guys. Doing we great. all did so yeah. good. So Tina, you are first to react. You have not you you have seen these uh, these Bivar units out in the uh, in outside of the spider, but never in the spider while well, you've been here i'm gonna f this is probably stupid but you know ain't that smart tina's gonna fly over <laughs> and bleed on it thing. so as tina flies hey, by can you part? give me a reflex saving throw <laughs> sure zap out this guy Pretty good. okay th that's yeah. good so you manage to have a few a few of these energy tendrils from the orb zap out, but they don't hit you. Uh, and then you, you're, what are you? You're gonna bite the beaver. I'm gonna bite the beaver. <laughs> bite the beaver. Oh, no. uh, it's a beaver. Sorry. All right, it's sorry. It's a beaver. All right. Come on. A, a thirteen. A thirteen. Uh, that does not, you do not penetrate the Bivar's pelt. Uh, you bite into it, uh, and you, you maybe even chip a tooth. Suffer and fuckatash. <laughs> Come on, who, that's a, who throws that's a, a hard who bites a beaver? Really? Canadian geese should know better. What's the matter with the feathers? <laughs> um... um so at that point, uh, it swings a saw blade at you, almost I'm like a die. <laughs> almost like a chainsaw. You're not supposed not to, to die, die yet. Yeah, it, here we go uh, into Tina. <laughs> Tina Horton's. Uh oh, that is uh -oh. a hit, Tina. <laughs> nope. That is a hit, Tina. Four? How many hit points does Tina have? Four. Four left. <laughs> oh, no. In a in a in a in a visceral spray of blood and feathers, <laughs> Tina is eviscerated you know, by the beaver. People are gonna start to think this is a pattern when I play in your games. <laughs> yeah, too late. I think knows. you're like. Emily and I played in a game. I DM'd a game at uh, GaryCon. I killed Emily four times. One game. Four times. One game. The day before. Get your right. character. Listen, in that listen, game. listen. They could rescue the body. <laughs> Don't give up. They could rescue you. Okay. Okay. So just hold tight there for a second. Uh, Greg, you see, you see blood and feathers. Boy, I think it's time to peace out. No, our new friend <laughs> who needs to die no. about an hour no from friend. now. <laughs> Too early. We generally don't kill guests till 1130, but for you, we'll make an exception. Well, you know, I aim to please. Uh, I'm an overachiever. Hey, grab the, grab the other beaver. Well, let me check the... The Wings Land Saga, Chapter 2, Blood and Feathers. Ghosty, I love it. F's in the chat. F's in the chat, please, for Tina Hortons. Name of the uh, episode. The we can resurrect killer one of the three times. Anyone have another uh, pre-made character? I'll just... I'll run right over here. Keep I going. Try to... <laughs> I've got a beaver. I'm going to take the rust, uh, rusty bandages off my ears. I'm yes. going to try to help out... Uh... Well, you can't recover the we well, can't recover the bird until after combat, but you're welcome to drag her away from the beaver. Oh, I'd offer to play my character from Gary Con that I played in MCC, but uh, Listen, it's, it's okay. I devolved. I'm gonna hit this beaver. <laughs> with, uh... You're gonna hit the beaver. I'm gonna hit the beaver. What are you hitting it with? Uh, Duras alloy weapon. Lay into it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, hey God. uh hey Greg, that's a hit, eh? Oh yeah. Two damage. Oh yeah. That's the least damage you could roll, eh? Oh by thunder. <laughs> oh it is, yes it is. 
Yeah. Yeah. What is, yeah, what is eh? happening right now? <laughs> so I don't know. Eh? Look, eh? The, look he's here, got very Canadian. So the uh, the uh, the goose, eh? He's uh, she's lying on the ground. She's been uh, all cut up, eh? And then you come forward, you little brown uh, black bear from uh, from Northern Ontario. There, maybe you're from Thunder Bay, Lord Thunder and Jesus. And you uh, you smack it down with your boot. You put the boot to the beaver, uh, as yeah, one does with a dart beaver, hanging right? at your mouth. Okay, there, boy. Way to go! Back in a dart and swinging a foot. Who could have Sounds a, like nice a Sunday, boots Saturday for night. Sunday dinner? Yeah. Sunday night. Don't you know? Don't you know? Okay. So listen, Nika. It's your turn there, eh? Greg, every time you swing uh, that boot, you gotta call this song. Coo, coo, coo. I gotta tell you about something. Uh, yes, yeah, so oh, Tina Horton oh, is a Canada Goose manimal. Uh, is is Tina Canadian? Who knows? Who knows? Origins unclear. I'm gonna like go around this way so I stay. We'll away tell from the... Tina's origin story next time on the way Tina Saga. Is a Canadian Canadian goose. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Uh, we could have called her double. We could have called her double double. That would have been good too. Oh, that's. Put some sugar in the coffee there, eh? Okay, so Nika, you run down. Yep. This is a and... massive robot. Like it doesn't even have feet. It has tank tracks. <laughs> I um... just flew straight into the tank. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, Canadian geese uh, would do that. They absolutely would. They have uh, no fear. Canadian geese, they will attack a moving vehicle, no problem. <laughs> you ever seen that picture of Tiananmen Square with that guy standing in front of all the tanks? That's a tank. Canadian goose. Canadian goose. Except the goose wouldn't be sitting there waiting for the tank to come to them. It no. would be on full attack mode. Yeah, we got the tank. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so, go, uh, so whose turn is there by? I, well, I just moved up. Is there... Like, am I able to get in between the beaver and Greg? Like, if I go Her there, body. ah, okay. Then I'm gonna hit it with the 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 jack axe. Oh, get her! Go for a rip there, bud. No, I'm <laughs> not. Oh, you missed to the left, eh? A little bit. Or my body Just so you know, uh, this would outrage me as a Canadian if I heard people doing this. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. But it's okay when we do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm from Michigan. It's fine. I'll just say I'm a U. I'm from. Uh, listen, if I'm Canada, from went, Canada, if Canada invaded the U.S. and you know that wouldn't happen, but if it did, uh, Michigan and Wisconsin would be prime targets because we like you people, eh? We they burned do down the side. White House again. Oh, we like you people well, eh? for sure. I feel like Michigan, Wisconsin. Uh, what's above Wisconsin? Nothing. Uh, six hours north. I think your part is Manitoba. Don't you? Oh, yeah. Don't you say that? Uh, nothing. In in the U.S., there's nothing above that. Okay. Hey, Dozer. Hey, Dozer. What are you doing? Hey. Uh, I'm gonna go for a rip. I'm gonna I'm gonna boogie on down. Whoa! It's a, you know one more person in this fight, and it's a Donny Brook, eh? Oh. All right, Tundra. Quick, Jersey, Jersey him. Jersey the beaver. <laughs> Jersey would fill it with uppercuts. Jersey him. And then belt him upside the head with a puck, eh? Take oh. that, silly beaver. Did you even hit? Did you even ask me if what you rolled hit? I didn't have to. I've got it targeted. Oh, so it just said damage. It eh? says hit. And then I rolled the damage. And then it did heavy yeah. damage. Hey, good day, eh? You did I'm, I'm trying to save you the trouble. Okay. Uh, are you done? I'd like to go again. I but, don't think you uh, do that. I guess I'm done. Yeah. I'll I'll hit the little arrow. Turn complete. Okay. Maypel. I want to do some kind this of This is a Canadian party, just so you know. Sorry about that. Sorry. We oh, have a Maypel. We have Sorry. a Maypel tree. Tree. We have a brown bear. Well, black bear. Black bear is way more Canadian. Uh, Nika, you're the... But Nika is red. Our flag has red on it. That's good enough. I'm a... I'm also Diet Canadian in real life, so I mean, it's all we'll relative you... at this point. We'll let you in, eh? Don't worry. I want uh, to 
fire Go, an arrow hosers. at it, but I want to arc it so it goes through the lightning, picks up the lightning, and then hits the beaver, Ivar. That arcs to all of us. Perfect. Okay. That's what I want to do. <laughs> so you're going to hit the beaver, followed by a shocker. Do it. Yes. Shock the beaver. If I get hit with some of this lightning, do I uh, Not a dice? chance. Not a chance. You I'm know what? Take it a reroll. You sh you, sh you take it a reroll? Yeah. Y'all clear first so you can restart the. Oh, no, even worse. Even worse. So you shoot the arrow and it just like gets zapped by the lightning and disintegrates. The arrow's gone. Well, that's upsetting. Okay. Tina Horton is on the ground, so it's the Bivar's turn. Someone dragged Thanks, me. I shrunk my initiative over. tracker and it just says Tina Ho. What? I, I shrunk my initiative tracker because I was making room for the map. Tina Ho. I'm like, who's Tina, Tina Ho? Times are hard. Times are hard up here no. in Canada, eh? You, uh, you do anything you can to get your double-double. It's that, it's that gig economy, you know? Uh, Ghosty <laughs> bought another reroll for everyone. And uh, at, at this point, the Bivar will swing its saw blade at Dozer, eh? Right on. Let's do it, I, Dozer. I re-roll my bite attack posthumously? No. <laughs> Your attack's worse uh, than the Red Wings attack. <laughs> Dozer. Oh, excuse oh. me? Ooh, I'm actually a Red Wings fighting fan. words. Wow. I'm actually a Red Wings fan. Wow. Oh, saw, uh, speaking of hockey, not to segue here, I saw a clip of a stand-up com comedian talking about the CN Tower having uh, a lightning rod, and there's yeah. proof that Toronto can actually defend the lightning. <laughs> Can we kick him somehow? What sports? It'll mess up the cams. It'll mess up do. the cams. Okay. If it, if it didn't mess up the cams, you would be gone, sir. Uh, <laughs> we would be going from Canadian to Amish, and you would be shunned. You would be oh. shunned from the community. We shun you. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, you're back in. You apologized. Sorry. In Canada, if you're shunned, you just have to sit on the porch and watch the hockey game from there, eh? Yeah. Yeah, watch it through the okay. window. Okay, so that, that saw blade, he swings his chainsaw at you, and he misses. Terribly. Terribly. Just so like it's the now, uh, it's the it's now a little black bear, Greg. Bring oh. the pain. Bring the pain, Greg. Uh, tell you, can hit it. Here. you can hit it from where you are. All right. This yeah. is an angry beaver. My steel boot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, nice, eh? Hit it with the old stomp of Tom. I love it. Oh. <laughs> the stomp Tom. Um, there you go. Did you do that damage directly, or do I have to add no, it? No, I, I didn't do it directly. There. You did not I do did it? it? There we go. There we go. <laughs> How did you do that? I told you. You can literally just drag it off of the tracker, or off the chat, oh. onto the uh, um, icon, and it'll do when it. When did you tell me that? The last time we were fighting. Lies, like, Nika. It's your turn. Heard it. Dead. I'm gonna. Nika, just... the uh, light Canadian from Wisconsin, eh? Bring, <laughs> uh, bring some Wisconsin uh, cheese power here. I'm gonna scooch right past you there and smack you with the jack egg. <laughs> I'm gonna scooch in there and hit you with the jack egg. Right past you there. No, I'm not. Oh, don't you know? You missed a. Come on now. Don't you know now, Bobby? <laughs> Bobby. That's more Minnesota, though. Is that is it? Yeah. Sorry, Minnesotans, we didn't know. Uh, I Dozer? wanted to be offensive and say that's the same thing, but I wouldn't say that. Uh, Go oh. Dozer, there, you, the, you're <laughs> just, throwing down a lot of fighting just words. Just ripping it down, buddy. Sorry, sorry. It's very un-Canadian of me. I'm very sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to yeah, swing that, the, old... the beaver. The beaver apologizes for hitting Tim Hor Tina Hortons. Sorry, eh? No. Well, I've already got the... So I'm just going to keep throwing uppercuts. Okay. I'm going to try and take it down to the ice and get the rest to call this. Nice, eh? Wow! Maximum damage! Boom! I think you shut down the beaver. I think I think I did. Beaver's not angry anymore. You gave it a good licking. Yeah, it's, it looks tired. It's dying did. There, so. Look at the blood it's stain that old, beaver uh, left. Uh, oh. That is big. Big beaver stain. When did they? I look we at Greg find... and I say, we... I think it'll hard on the beaver. <laughs> we we have to find out where uh, and when that was added. Okay, so listen, the beaver unit falls to the like it just slumps over. Uh, you chopped at it. You chopped at it, and it's 
it's dead, sparks fly, and it just stops working. Is there anything that can be done for Tina? Uh, yes, we're now going to do a rescue the body, and because Tina has a as a guest status here, we're going to say that that works automatically. But Tina, when when you when the body is rescued, you you are out of commission for an hour. You have minus four to all actions, and you need to pick one of your physical stats to be reduced. Hello, we're uh, back. Ryan's cat. Oh, are we back? A, yeah. He's playing with a toy. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. Sorry. Hey. Um. What? Hey. Hey. I. I. So Tina Horton has been dragged away from the lightning. Has one hit point. Has minus four on all abilities and attack rolls for the next hour, and uh, has permanently lost one agility. But her. We did get a appropriate uh, rescue the body. So uh, what you guys can see is a massive vault-like door behind this big piece of electrical machinery. And uh, the, the vault door appears to have a whole bunch of buttons and stuff like that on it. And lights. We still got those three other... Uh... And the lightning does the lightning and energy lashes does not reach this side of the machine. Do we want to go eliminate the other three timber jacks or not press our luck? I don't think we should press our luck. We just need to deactivate this thing, then. Yes. And then run away. And then run, 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 run away. Or this becomes the new bubble car. What's Imagine a bubble a... car? Oh, sorry. Tooling around Dark the wall. forest in this. <laughs> Wrong character, my man. Wrong character. Apologies. The bubble car is gone. Um. So, yeah. So, basically... <clears throat> basically, Tina Horton is in a bad way. Should we? Uh, I don't have any way we can, I'm wondering if there's any way we can put that debuff on. Tina. I'm pretty sure you put it on me when I died before, but I could be wrong. There are some effects here, but not the one I think we're looking for. Oh well. I okay. can code it. We'll we'll work on it for next time. That's fine, like we always do. Yeah, it's going to be a lot more dying. Negative four to what? Everything. Everything. Tax. Sucks, yeah. Everything. For an hour. For an hour. <clears throat> so what would you all like to do? Take an hour nap? For an hour. Take an hour nap? Yeah, can we do that? Just so she's not at that? Um, You can if you'd like. Just hide behind, you, like, you over here. Have a rat thing in a dungeon? <laughs> Um, so listen, so listen uh, as uh, it, you guys rest for maybe 20 minutes and then you feel a, a shift as this, you feel like the spider is lowering itself to the ground. We're here. We're going to oh pick God, up all the other units on the ground. All the, the three B-bars and the, all the uh, timber jacks that are out there. Yeah, there were nine timber jacks and three beavars outside. We killed a couple of them, didn't we? Oh, that's true. You did take out a couple of the a couple lumber of the timber jacks. jacks. Timber yeah. jacks, yeah. So, you know, we'll say there's six timber jacks and three beavar units. That's out. totally doable. Let's do this. Let's get ready to rumble. Maybe we should just deactivate this whole thing. Yeah. Can we get to the... Try and get through the vault door, maybe? Yeah. Because I'm going to assume they're going to come in through the do the doors in the back. So well, then, guys, I got this, and I try to open the vault. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to okay. the door? You haven't seen what I can do yet. So, <laughs> uh, so, so Tina comes here. over here yeah. and decides they're going to uh, try to hack the vault door. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and... Uh... Roll me a, um, let me see here. 
This is interesting. Roll me a uh, just an artifact effect check. Now, so. That's awesome. An artifact check. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to mark this up to two. Go ahead and roll your artifact check there, Tina. I've already set the Great. Great. CM on it. Ah. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of minus seven, probably. Uh, it's by got the a time really weird debug. error message. So... It's like literally... <laughs> It's only grabbing the number. It's not grabbing a die. Weird. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna... There, I rolled it for you. Oh. Oh, Oh, there, you rolled it. You rolled the same thing I rolled. Well done. Uh, listen. uh, Minus seven. (laughs) You, you, you're like a pro here. You just like push, start pushing buttons. And, um, this... Yeah. (laughs) Dink, dink, dink. Uh, this thing opens as Tina uh, fiddles with the controls. Oh, that's never happened before. I've learned anything about doors on this thing. I'm going through before it closes. Yeah. Um. So it opens, and the walls uh, have these. There's three of them on each side. They look kind of like upright beds. And they have see-through uh, tubes around the bed. In the center of the room is a strange uh, chambered-like box, and uh, there is a there is a door and a control panel uh, to it as well. And then at the far end. There is another set of doors, but Tina made such a good roll. Tina can work the doors in here now. If if they make an intelligence check as opposed to <laughs> making a uh, as opposed to making a uh, artifact check, which is still a challenge, but significantly easier than the artifact check. So if you can see those uh, the orange things up the sides of the room, that's where those sort of upright looking bed things are, and then the, there's a glass tube in front of it. Does there's it three, really there's look like a bed? Three on each side? Three on each side, yes. Are they actually beds? Yeah, that's... Well, there's only they five look, of us. They look like beds. I poke one with my spear. At the glass, sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's the uh, the sort of really hard glass the ancients used. It was like poom poom poom. Can I look inside? Yeah, yeah, you can see through the whole thing. It's an empty bed inside. It has very tightly fitted sheets and a very small pillow at the top. At this point, you hear the spider come to rest on the ground. Should we all pretend to be sleeping? When the robots come in? Uh, if you remember, the one of the rear doors are um, stuck open. Can we shut the vault door? Yeah, do you want to do that? You can, Tina. I won't even ask for an intelligence check for that. Do you want to do that? Are we going to sure. bring Greg inside first? Oh, I don't know. Is Greg not in there? I can't see all the way around. Huh? Greg's coming in. And then <laughs> Tina Tina shuts the vault door. Okay. Boy, am I glad I came in. Now we're all going to get into a bed and pretend we're sleeping. and The robots won't notice us. Uh, with the vault door shut, the other door uh, here opens. on this chamber at the south end yes <clears throat> no no the door on the north end of the uh, chamber in the, the center the of the room boxing yeah and you can see, yeah you can see into a uh, small chamber no windows or anything like that there is some strange uh, long openings across the top and bottom of it, 
and there is also um there are, there's also a little bit you can tell that like the the bivar units have um and, and the timberjacks have come in and out of here like you can see their footmarks sort of well worn into the floor or and their tread marks probably where that beaver creature came from so when when timbar goes standing. when uh, when uh, when dozer goes in a number of lights on the outside by the door uh, change colors maybe don't stand in there are they happier colors than they used to be like do they go uh, yeah, green yeah they were all <laughs> they're all red and they're now like uh, green and blue mm. What happens when I come back out? Uh, they go back to they go back uh, to red, and then I go back in. What happens? Yeah, the green and blue. I what if like... I stand in the doorway, one foot in the room and one foot outside? <laughs> anything, it, 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 anything that reaches a little bit into the room, uh, the lights change. Something almost reacting to something being inside that that room. Are there any <clears throat> are there any panels on the inside? Really? There is nothing on the inside smooth walls except for the there's two slots on the bottom that sort of run along near the wall and two slots at the top that run along near the wall what's on the like what what's this down here i'm not sure if i missed the description the... Uh, uh this thing that the wires are running to no the thing like they look like stairs sort of yes these stairs lead up to a, another another door okay Maybe we should uh, get our goose friend to try and open this, since you're an expert with doors. <clears throat> sure. Let me just see what I can do. Give it a good test. <laughs> okay. So give me. <laughs> go onto your main character sheet, and you're gonna double click the little D twenty at the corner of your intelligence and make that roll. It does not open. This one's broken. Pack it again. What? Can I, like, assist? Uh, you can try to make an artifact check to try to open it for Tina. Uh, your CM should be set for two if you're trying to open this door. Step back. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nailed you the you sort All of right. stumble you stumble your way through the buttons and it opens uh as well. Uh it's quite large and it lifts into the it lifts into the ceiling. Uh and you're looking into uh a room with all kinds of buttons, levers, and a very big sort of wheel with pegs sticking off it. Almost like a wheel right um and uh you're all you can also see a big screen across the front of this ch chamber which it looks like your look it's not a window it's some sort of picture that the ancients uh you used to look at and you can see the forest outside and you can see uh that the, currently your the spiders down on the ground and uh, not not moving. Um, and there on there's two stations to either side of the wheel with buttons and levers and uh, a helmet attached to these ropes that go into the into the walls. Uh... I like I'm armor. Like... Can I, like, take one of the helmets and just be like, okay, nobody do what I'm going to do, and then put the helmet on? <laughs> okay, so you put the helmet on, and you guys see um, that um, Nika goes very stiff. Is there only one helmet, or are there others? No, there's a second helmet. I'm immediately putting the other one on, because I didn't hear what you said. 
<laughs> okay, so you rush in and you put the you put the, the other one on. Yeah. Got so it, you do it. that. You do that, and as you put these helmets on, all your visual and hearing senses seem to melt away, and you are standing on a wire framed grid. Oh man, you're in the Gosh, it's the hollow deck. Tron. <laughs> Uh, and you look at each other and you see sort of stick figure versions of yourselves. I do a little dance, a little jig. And then this this massive, uh, just like the ro the Bivar unit you saw, there is a massive sort of wire structured beaver uh, in front of you. And everything is black except for these grid lines and yourselves and the beaver. It then looks at the two of you and says the password and that just echoes out like element 442 incorrect password two more attempts One, two, three, four. Invalid password. One, <laughs> attempt, one attempt remaining. Uh, outside, the three of you, you can hear... Um, you can hear uh, the faint echo of steel boots and tank treads rolling in through that back door of the spider. And your two friends standing very stiff and still. Pile into the, into the cockpit area? No, uh, through the back door where the buzz saw was, where where you guys oh, originally I'm, entered. I'm going to pile into the cockpit area, so maybe we oh, pull the door behind us. Okay. Now, Following now, Nika, Nika closed that, opened that door. Um, oh, crap. So, and... Tina was unable to make the intelligence check. So anybody that would like to close the door needs to roll roll me a um you need to roll me an artifact check with a CM2. I'll give it a nope. shot. I broke it. What? Oh boy. <laughs> so Maple starts like plugging away on the the board. It gives her a shock for two damage. And then a little, a little bit of smoke rises out of the control panel. Uh, oh. I step away from smoke because I am wood. Okay. Can I still attempt to do it, or is it just busted? Down? The panel looks fried. Great. Sorry. Uh, I go back out to the weird room and see, like, the slots that were at the top. Is that something that I could look out? Uh, okay, so you go back into that room. And uh, as you walk in, the buttons, of course, change to blue and uh, and green. And uh, you look up into the slots, and um, you see these strange ridged metal plates inside the slots. Ridged metal plates. While they're doing that, can I run back to this door? And there was a panel here, right? Yeah. I'm going to try to take my robot leg and just smash it. Okay. While Tina's in there, go ahead and roll. Uh, not the thing she's in. I'm trying to mess with the door. I want, I'm trying to lock the door. Oh, the anyway. vault door? Like over here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and give me an... Are you just smashing the panel? Yes. Okay. Uh, give me an attack roll. Um. Actually, let me, I'll try. I'll try to see if I can figure out how to operate it first. If that doesn't work, no. <laughs> okay. So give me an artifact check with a CM two. Uh, Please don't accidentally zap yourself to death. We'll see. Uh, why can I not? There we go. Okay. Artifact CM two. Oh, that was so a 20. Uh, I'm going to re-roll that. Do we have a re-roll? Oh, yeah, yeah we have two. a re-roll. Okay. Uh, do we have a die as well? Yep. I feel like there's been 
Okay, okay so, so plus one dice plus for this next reroll. That could be okay. Ooh. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. so you're like fooling around trying to do something. Like a part falls out of the control panel onto the floor. Oh my, I got my bear claw and I'm like messing around with the panel and a piece falls off. And I'm just like, yes. Oh, screw it. And I take the leg and I just start smashing it. <laughs> so roll to attack for me. Roll to attack for me. And I miss a panel on the wall. Well, you hit it, but it doesn't do anything. You want to roll again? Yes. Okay, We're rolling so, so good. Uh, Tina, you can hear a great deal of commotion outside the, the room that you're in as uh, as Greg is smashing his boot against the keyboard. What is Maple doing? <laughs> Being a tree. In the cockpit. <laughs> oh, you're just you're just planting in the cockpit. Yeah, badly. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. Let's go back inside the helmets to our two friends. Boy, you you've given the two passwords. Are we? Are we able to take these helmets off? Uh, like you reach up and touch your head inside the holographic chamber or whatever it is there's no helmet there like you're not sure I like turn around and look for an exit door okay you look back there is nothing you and nothing you and a dozer are standing on a flat plane a gridded plane of light and there's just darkness beyond that I mean what do you think dozer uh I like to smash things. <laughs> Take the blue pill. The password could be password. We could do a administrator override, or I could go punch the beaver. How many is it? Letter, is it letters or numbers for the password? Or, or do you not know? Yes, we don't know. <laughs> no there... one did any looking around. They just jammed the helmets on. <laughs> I would. I do said, don't thing. do what I did. Uh, I'll look around. Is there a like a sticky note somewhere with the password written on it? <laughs> um. Okay. So you start to search around. You do find um this uh you you find this pad. It's it's a thin piece of glass, and as Maple touches it, like letters and numbers and stuff come up on it that you don't understand what they say. I keep pressing it to see if it changes. Yeah, uh, it, then it it pops up and there is a there is a uh, a face that looks similar to the Timberjacks. Um, a man with a big beard and a plaid shirt on sort of appears as a hologram above. Hello? How can I help you? How do I work this thing? Are you referring to the uh, the Spydar 2000? Yes. Would you like a complete tutorial? How long will that take? <laughs> we can highlight just just the uh, the most important systems of the spider. Yeah, that. <clears throat> Shall we begin with uh, p its power plant? No. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Shall we begin with harvesting instructions? Skip. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Dad! No! <laughs> Piloting instructions? Yes. <laughs> Piloting requires an interface through one of our hollow helmets. 
The appropriate password must be uh, given to the holographic guardian. What is the password? Uh, it then begins to scan you. Oh no! Uh, if you could, pl if you could please give me a. Uh, if you could please give me an AI recognition roll. Thirteen. You do your best to look human. <laughs> I like cover my third eye. You and, cover like, your third eye. Twist some vines like it's hair. <laughs> And you succeeded, uh, you succeeded on the AI recognition. Uh, the password is how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? That seems oh, silly. God. Can we reset the password? I'm sorry, you lack the, the appropriate credentials to reset a password. <laughs> These are my credentials. <laughs> it just says I do. I can do what I want. No, not even. It's just like a hand wave, like the side door <laughs> that opened when I went near it. Get I my wipe. No, <laughs> yeah. listen. Back, back inside. Back inside. Uh, those are two. Uh, our two heroes hear a voice saying, uh, "Please enter password." Don't rush me. Can we thinking? Can we hear remember. her at all? No. Visual and hearing is all through the helmet now. Password. I'm confirming that's what you want me to say. Correct. Yes. Well, I said it, so let me do the, what I want to do. The password is required to complete your interface. What if I don't want to complete my interface? Then remove your helmet. I'm not wearing a helmet. I'm a oh. stick man on, on a steel grid. Back outside, uh, Greg, after many hits at the panel, uh, give me one more. Oh, I can hit a panel. Come on, Greg. <laughs> Put your Baileys into it. Oh! <laughs> Do a reroll. Just do a reroll. I, I love it. The book I gave love us it. more. Okay. I'm well. <laughs> okay. So so uh that you finally smash and there's a shower of sparks out of it. And the door opens. <laughs> uh, Ghosty has given you another player reroll. You should all be thanking Ghosty a great oh, deal, I think. We are. Um we are. Ghosty is carrying us. <laughs> So, uh, let's go inside the room there. Tina, what are you doing? I guess, like, are these... You said it's, like, corrugated metal, kind of, or, like, wavy? Yeah, like, if you look up into the slots in the roof and the two slots in the floor, you can see sort of a corrugated, like, metal. I assume it's just it's just a slot. It's not, like, big enough to squeeze my way up into a climb through. No, you could maybe put your hand down into it if you'd like. Careful, you Emily. You almost lost a character to one of those death boxes okay. before. So you put your hand down into the slot, and yeah, you can feel it, it's got a bit of a sharp, a sharp edge, just like it's a piece of cut metal or something. Um, and there is definitely um, more beneath it, but uh, yeah, that you can't get your really hand any deeper than just maybe a few inches uh, along this corrugated steel. And there's nothing to like. Grab on to no latches or no anything. Okay, then I'll no. go out of there because. Uh, and Greg, what are you doing out outside here? After the uh, shower of sparks. Well, I've done my part to smash the panel. What you doing? Uh, I, I, I think I was trying to break the. I was trying to break the door. Uh, I'm gonna stack a couple chairs in front of the door and then I run. There's. <laughs> There's no chairs. There are no chairs. Oh, okay. But as the two of you are standing there, there's like a knock on the... Please open the door. Please open the door. I stand at the door and go, Access denied. 
Okay. <laughs> nice. We have harvested more element. Please open the door. Harvest more, not enough. In the robot voice, the robot not voice. <laughs> can I, have, can I have both of you give me a personality check? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Uh, I am very personable. So that's a. Uh, oh. oh no, I'm that's not. That's actually a zero, isn't it? A zero? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and a one. one. <laughs> okay. So outside, you hear. It's the goose and bear. The goose and bear in the control room. <laughs> danger, danger. And you hear no, a whole bunch not. of commotion no, outside. And you're like, no, no, it's not. They're like the goose and bear. The goose and bear. Uh, just <laughs> what are you going to do? You can hear a bunch of commotion towards the back. Uh, I guess I'll try to pull one of them out of the helmet. Which one? Nika? Okay, so you pull Nika's helmet off, uh, and Dozer, inside, you see Nika suddenly disappear. Uh, Nika, could you give me a personality check as you are severed from your uh, virtual self? Sorry. Yeah, could I have a could I have a wisdom saving uh will saving throw please? Doing great. Uh Nika takes six points of damage. Nika's Ooh. dead. <laughs> Nika oh. So you pull the helmet off. And Nika falls to the floor, uh, a little bit of blood coming out of her nose. Oh, no. And maybe a little blood from the ears. I... Reroll. Oh, man. Reroll it. We you got, reroll... We got three right now. You want to reroll your will save? Sure. That was the last roll. Remember, luck as well. Uh, Maple can give luck with her pheromones. Well, uh, so Nika did just as well, yeah, even worse. No, actually, it, we'll take the eight. Um, would, so would, you like would to... two make it? <clears throat> two would take that to twelve. Yes. And is that what you're going to spend? Yes. Yes. So you like let out a bunch of pheromones, uh, Nika. Um, so then, ma- nope. You made the save. You don't have to take the six damage. I'm going to knock you back down to where your wounds were before, uh, oh. but but you are stunned for a round. Okay. Sorry, and I put the helmet on. Okay, Maple, you put the uh, hel- helmet on. Uh, I did dead. It interfaces up, and um, you appear. Dozer, now you can tell that Maple is beside you. However, the computer's having a hard time, like, reading her biorhythms and stuff. So, like, she's all fuzzy. And, like, every so often she's like... And then, like, she just shakes and lets off this horrible buzz sound. I'm a stick. I should fit in here. Nika, you see this happening outside as well. Like, Maple goes stiff. But every so often, like, there's, like, a... the, the, The... the interface is having trouble and she like she shakes like some needles drop some leaves drop (laughs) and then she's I go hurry up hurry up (laughs) how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood (laughs) (laughs) that is incorrect (laughs) with that Suddenly, the the terrain or the all that wire framework and that that you guys were looking at sort of melts away from you, and you feel yourself sort of uh, in a light, airy space, and you are looking around, and you have three hundred and sixty degree. Basically, each of you remember those orbs that you saw up on top of the spider? Basically, each of your consciousness has been moved into one of those orbs. And you have three hundred and sixty degree you know, sight around the spider. And you feel like you can influence its movements. 
I would like to influence it to stand up on its front legs and poop out all of the robots that are beyond the door. <clears throat> okay, the so spider work. Uh, yes. Okay, so listen. Yes. Uh, the sp <laughs> the spider dips its back end. Uh, can I have both Tina and Greg give me a reflex saving throw? As suddenly the floor lurches and the spider is at a very awkward angle. That's on par for tonight. <laughs> Okay, so shoot the Tina, Tina, you grab hold of something, and no, you're not able to shoot the incinerators from here. And Greg, you fall right against the big vault door okay. with a thunk, uh, and you you hear a whole bunch of like shouting from the robots outside the door, and a, a number of clunks and crashes, and uh, you hear like wood splitting and. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of bad stuff probably going on in the back. I'm not a bear. I'm not a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a bear. I am not a bear. Um, now what? Uh, do I feel sufficiently like we have twerked out all of the robots? Uh, you're not sure if you've twerked them all out, but you've given a good shake. I'll just do it a little longer for good measure. <laughs> Okay, so you continue to rock the robot. Um, can, can I have both Tina and uh, Greg give me another check as the whole uh, back part of the mech begins to shake violently? It was a reflex save again? Yes. Oh, Greg, you're okay this time. You grab hold of something. Uh, oh, no, Tina! Reroll it! Reroll it! Reroll it! <laughs> oh, just wow. as good. And we're not even adding the minus four in there. No, it uh, is added. Still. It is oh, doing it. Oh, it's it's yeah. doing it automatically. Okay, Tina. Uh, Tina takes one point of damage. I'm dead again. <laughs> <laughs> Twerk to death. I gotta say, Tina, like, flies forward into the big vault door and hits her head. Beach. And it looks like Ghosty has given us another, uh, another reroll. Thanks, Ghosty. We're going to need it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there is a large pang as Tina's forehead bounces off the uh, bounces off the door and she's lying against the door beside you, Craig. Um, Does that sound like more robots? Should we keep twerking? Death by twerking. <laughs> uh, can we can we see like the back end and like what's on the ground? Yeah, you can see a number of robots uh, outside, and they're sort of moving away from the spider, like, what is going on? Can I warp the saws at the front of the robot, like the arms? Yes, yes, you can. I'll turn I think us we should... while you yeah, do we're that. Gonna... And I'll start chopping the robots with the saw. Yeah. <laughs> so you turn, and the lumberjacks, the, the, the timber jacks are just looking at you, looking at you, looking at you. And then, like, you... Like you, you like you like will one of the saws to come down, cuts one in half, and then they all just start running for the woods. We well, let's chase them. Oh, we're chasing them. <laughs> okay, so the robot begins the to lurch just forward. Hanging on for dear life. <laughs> the robot begins to lurch forward as you as you uh, guide this massive spider mech towards the woods. Uh, I'm gonna say you maybe get three of them before they get into the woods, and then. Uh, there's still sort of like another three that escape into the woods, as well as a few of the uh, beavers. And then you're you're too big to fit through into the woods where they've gone. You can certainly start. I'll start cutting down trees. No, okay, I'm just kidding. no, my brothers. People will get mad at me. <laughs> my brothers. So, do we want to go see where they were delivering this element, or do we want to just go back to our village? Well, they were delivering it into, like, the area behind us, right? But, like, when, when the robot, when the spider filled up, they were taking it somewhere, weren't they? They were transporting it? I don't remember. Like, the spider came from the east or the west or something. Yeah, from the it came over the mountains from the east. Into your valley. So do we want to take this thing east and see what we can see while they don't know the robot's taken over? Or do we want to... Yeah. Destroy this thing. No, let's take it over. And then... Can we... Should we check on our passengers before we go anywhere? 
<laughs> no, I'm sure they're fine. Yeah, they're, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Are we able to operate the flamethrowers from here? No. No. Dang. I already asked. All right. uh, sorry, the, there are awesome. two incinerators on the front of the spider that you can operate, oh, a and it's saw blades. But the rear incinerators you that's cannot done operate. Done by the panels in the back. That's right. Okay. You you can assume that the that the uh, the timbar jacks that you saw working those panels were probably working the incinerators. Okay, but they've been twerked out. Hopefully. Uh, Taken yeah. about significantly. Let's uh, let's head over the mountain. Head east. Yeah. Let's do it. Which okay. mountain are we heading over? TT or Tata? No, TT and Tata we'll are right on, the we them. on the western side of the valley. This is oh, on the okay. opposite side of the valley. Are there mountains on this side? So we're on the, the other side of the. You Coochie are valley. you are in a valley. There are mountains on all sides of Coochie Valley. TT and Tata are on the west, and this thing came from the east. What are the one mountains of the mountain on past. the east? What well, are they called? Your... Well, there's no... It's all the Titi Tata mountain range, but like, you know, Titi and Tata are very specific mountains in the range. They're the two highest peaks. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Yeah. There. Well, we head that way. Yes. You're heading east? Yes. yes. Where the so do you follow the trail that it cut? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that will take you a few days. Are we good with that? Yeah. So is okay. This, is the goose still dead? Uh, the <laughs> goose is lying beside you, and uh, let's have the goose roll a luck check. So we need to roll a D, just a straight D20 there, Emily, and you have to get under your luck, which is 13. Okay. This is when you're going to roll high. <laughs> Does the minus four still apply? Uh, no, no, the minus four does not still apply. Okay, so listen, um, you reduced your agility before, and I'm going to reduce it again right now, because you have, we have successfully, uh, you know, gotten the body back. Uh, so you are roughly, a, you know, you're, you're really in bad shape. I have a concussion for sure. Yes. <laughs> So listen, over the next two days, um, you figure out how to take the helmets off safely. Um, there is a, everyone ran right past this, but there, you can see the wires going to it. There's like the thing with a blue glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that seems to almost bring up a picture of the valley. Okay. On it. I think and it was distracted because the camera Jeff face was on it. And, and um, it's it shows uh, there are there are different there are blue lights over a good portion of the valley, the same kind of blue light they, that it saw when it scanned Maple and some of the trees outside, right? So it's sho it's basically showing the spider where to go to collect this um, I like this mineral. Tuck Tina and Greg into these beds here and like let them sleep it off a little bit because they're both pretty bad. Okay. Um. So you open. You you find you find the side of the glass tube and it swings open, and you put Tina into one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. Tina does. Um, Again. Again. <laughs> so Tina goes in first. Uh, Tina, are you okay with that? It's like a mail tube. It's going to shoot her out the top of the robot. You can only see out of one eye right now, so yeah, okay. I don't really know what's so happening. So Tina goes in, and then Nika closes the glass, and um, there is like a sound like it's been se hermetically sealed. like the. Oops, I just put her in cryo. <laughs> uh, can you now... Uh, so, so now she's like locked in there. Uh -huh. uh, okay. There is a control panel beside if you would like to try to work... It. Does it turn me into a tour? Okay. Sure. Go ahead and uh, you're gonna. First of all, wait a minute. What is Nika's intel intelligence? Uh, intelligence is eleven. Oh, better than that. Nika doesn't know. Have the faintest clue how to work this. 
This will require someone with a, an intelligence of 12 or higher. Is there is there any? Okay, Greg, uh, I you want to? I have an intelligence of 12. There we go. Okay, oh, someone oh, someone oh. needs to do this with with a CM of four. I'm not smart. Never mind. You need smart. a twelve or higher intelligence because it's a level four technology, and the CM is four as well. Once Mabel gets the helmet off safely, then maybe I ask her for oh. help. DM, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, if we this is taking days, um, how do do you, can you well, it's going to take days to reach the mountains. We, oh. We're still, this is still oh. just after we've done the booty shake and everything. Oh, and I, we, have, we've, I have the negative stats from Glover, and I was just wasn't sure how to remove that. Okay, okay. Just from our oh, oh, mind. So Dozer has a 12 intelligence, or, you know. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Maple, you push some buttons, and uh, you can see, like, you can see that Tina's feathers ruffle, and then she falls asleep. Like there's been there's some sort of wind in the tube, and then she's like <clears throat> asleep. Do geese snore? That one yes. does. And then like on the control panel, like all these there's all these lines going across the screen, and then they the lines make little mountains, and keep going, and then they come across the screen again and make little mountains. The Titi Tata mountain. Mountains. This is a good sign. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so if you, if someone else would like to go in one of these pods, uh, Maple can now um, make intelligence checks for the first two uses, and then after that, Maple will basically know how to put people to sleep in these tubes. Know how to wake Ooh. them back up. Yes, yeah, she'll know. She'll know how to work it. Is anyone getting in a tube, though? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, I okay. feel like the boys need rest, but... They can rest on the floor. They don't, they don't have to go in the tube. No. But poor That's Tina is in the tube now. I'm used to sleeping in the no. cave. Poor Tina. Maybe we can pull the, like, we could pull the, like, blankets cave. and pillows out of there. Yeah. And, like, sleep on the floor. <laughs> Did you do that? Yeah. Yeah. If you we leave the poor goose, the poor goose is in the cryo chamber or whatever you just locked her in. Okay, that we looks good. We can all sleep on the floor now. We didn't really get a chance to know each other that well. I died like twice before. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this so, happened. so listen, uh, this thing starts walking and walking and walking. And uh, we're, I'm going to say, Dozer, you're currently piloting it. Everybody else is, you know, asleep, right? Oh, I right? wasn't asleep. Yep. I was just mucking with the thingy okay I'll come back and okay okay we can take well, shifts, I'm... right yeah, yeah like that it, like it's gonna take us. a few days so is, is there always two people with the helmets on might be a good yeah. idea just in case i volunteer can, not wear a helmet. can they teach like can they teach us now that they know how to use it can they teach us how to use yes. it yes yes okay we yeah. don't need a bubble car we got an at80 so you don't yeah, totally understand. Yeah. I mean, just to be clear, no one totally knows how it works, but it's like if you put the helmet on and then you say the password, then all of a sudden you feel like you're in control of the spider. And when you like want to walk in a direction, it starts to walk in that direction. Well, you just think about what you want to do and it does it. Yeah. I will say over the next three days when I'm not sleeping or in the helmet, I will use the thingy to learn more about the thing. Okay. Yes. So that was a so, sentence. Those were words. <laughs> You're gonna use that the, the guy on the touchpad to learn more about yeah. the, how everything works. Yeah. Okay. Then you get what you get is from a, a very root. There is a mineral that, uh, you know, four two six mineral four two six that the the uh, machine requires to operate. Um, and it needs to be placed in something called the incinerator chamber, and uh, and then it is consumed by the Spydar uh, 2000. Does it identify the box in the other room as the incinerating chamber? Yes. Yes, the one that many people were walking like in and out of. Yes. 
So if I had gone in there, it probably would not have been a bad time. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't risk it. So after about a day of walking, I will say, I'm going to say, Dozer, you're currently piloting. When you get an alert, the beaver shows up and you're pulled down out of the eyeball onto that grid again. And it says that fuel levels have reached 10%. Recharge required. Okay, how do I do that? Well, I just, I just, I just told <laughs> Maple... So, I had the helmet on, though. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Uh, and we can identify, like, the blue speckles from the blue bubble, and that's what we need, right? Uh, yes. Are there any nearby? Uh, like, trees to cut? Yes, there's, there's, there's material nearby. And then right. we dumped all the timber jacks. Well, we'll just... Go and get one of those and throw it in I the think incinerating we have chamber. Jackaxes. Yeah. I got a big saw that I can work on the front or of this thing. Or I can just put myself in there and you guys can continue without me. No. Are you volunteering? Like, that's awful sweet of you. I mean, it's an option. No. Just no. Okay. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so I can tell from the map thing where the trees are. We, I can. Yes, they can guide you to. Someone can guide you to a set of trees. So All you right. get you you guide there and you cut them down. And then your beaver your beaver friend now tells you to dispatch timber units to uh, to harvest. Okay, uh, I'm gonna dispatch the timber units named Greg, and okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Greg and Nika. <laughs> And Greg we'll take, and we'll take and Tina out. Tina can go help. I'll go. And okay. Who, so, see if we can wake her up. So okay. So the it's been it's been just over a day when you need to refuel. So let let's let. So the first we thing that happens are we're getting Tina out. Yes. So I need Maple to roll an intelligence check of DC ten to properly operate the machine. Or Tina. Okay. There you go. <laughs> She does. Uh, listen, um, when uh, when Tina comes out, Tina, you've actually healed uh, six hit points. <gasps> nice. Do I from your from, like, natural resting over like the course of these days? Uh, yes. So, well, it's been one day, uh, so everyone can get one hit point back Ooh. and one point of glow burn back if you've spent any. And your glow burn, Ryan, is um, yeah, I, I already figured it. Out. If you go through the the micro, the little yeah, I got uh, it. Yeah, I got okay. It. So who's going out the back? I guess I am. Me and Greg, I guess. So and when Greg Tina. and when, when and Greg and Nika reach the Andrew. vault, Greg and Nika reach the vault door. They they move to open it and see a smashed panel. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god, we're stuck in here. We're gonna die in here. We're gonna die. <laughs> Tina, you maybe want to try to repair it. <laughs> I panic. Yeah, and yeah, definitely. Hold on, let me do that. What do I need to do to repair it? You're doing uh, great, sweetie. You you can give me a um. <laughs> Did Maple just hide again, yeah. or try to? Uh, it actually, I actually a, succeeded on that. Room. It should be fifty-five percent chance because I'm level okay. one. Okay, so you like try to hide in a metal room. Yeah. Uh, you look like a plant. So, uh, Tina, can you roll me a? Um, me, you, Tina, you need to roll a what's it called? A artifact check with a CM two. Can I assist somehow? Like hold tools or something or whatever? I don't know. There's something wrong with my artifact check. It keeps bringing up okay. error messages. I can do it. Uh, so I'm just going to roll a d20. No, it, yeah, there, I'll oh. take your d20. Your d20. Okay, so listen. you your d20, your d20 isn't... Why minus three? Oh, yeah. So 15? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is broken. This is broken. One. This is broken beyond repair. It's been smashed. Parts would Parts would have to be replaced, and you're not entirely sure what parts are 
Ow. I, I, I don't think we can. Is there a, there's a hatch. You think the front thing? detaches? Like the Enterprise? <laughs> Isn't there a hatch you can get to the top? Or is that What's on the that little, thing? like, uh, you did, square you did, thing? You, you did not see any hatches. What is this thing? That is like thing? a little... This, that thing brings up a holographic image of what's around the Spydar. And sure. uh, so you're seeing the valley and where the where it's detecting the um, the mineral 426 to be mined. I go the through trees. the little talking head thing that, mm -hmm. that Maple was talking to and ask it if there's like an emergency exit from this area. Uh, it, it, it tells you in, in case of emergency, the head module can be ejected. Is it still usable after it's been ejected? Yeah, can it be reattached? With the appro with the appropriate equipment, the know. head module can be repaired and reattached. No, we don't okay. want that. So Which does it look like maybe me and Greg can get the door open then? Like, can we wedge it open somehow? You I'm pretty it. strong. I can pull it open. Eve, hoe it. Yeah, let's try and wedge it. Yeah, between like all of us in here. Let's get the, the so robot leg and use it the as door a door open. Okay. Um so what is the total number of strength bonus we have? I have a plus three. I have a plus one. Plus or one. sorry, plus sorry, one. plus two. Plus two, sorry. Plus zero for me. I'm helping. So, so I heard plus, plus four. I heard plus four. So um, plus five? left should be plus no. five total. Because somebody's got a plus three. You have no. a plus one. Ryan was wrong. Ryan had a plus two. Oh, and plus then one. D twenty plus five. Ryan, as uh, as Greg tries to force the door. All right. One plus two plus one. Uh, oh, nice. a Dang. natural 20 yeah. look at that so uh so listen i am now ruling that this door is uh kaputs uh you have wedged an it open enough that you can fit out but it is never closing <laughs> again sure. um but you guys have uh forced the uh forced the door and I think you should be able to move out now. Do you want me to accompany you guys outside or stay here ready to pilot if we need something? We'll stay here in case we need to saw blade something. Or incinerate. We'll be on Overwatch. I like yes. it. Okay. So the rest of you move through the back hatch. Um, and when, when you step out, this electrical orb is now like arcing across the entire inside of the abdomen with the exception of where you come out the door uh because that is shielded by the machinery but like it's now arcing in all directions there are broken beavers and broken uh timbar jacks everywhere uh the ones that did not escape out the, <laughs> out the rump uh there is a fair amount of timber like and trees that they had already harvested also scattered about the room but you know the arcing energy from that one orb is now it's everywhere and there's a very ominous uh hum coming from it hey maybe we can just leave this thing no like, ask it if it's got a self-destruct and just leave it alone all we were supposed to do was stop the stupid thing from blowing up our village. We've done yeah, that. So I guess we go to plan B and eject the head. Oh, wait. Tina can fly. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Tina, are you going to try to get to the orb to fix it? It is 1140. <laughs> it, is, it is. Yeah. It is 1140. I think it's time. Okay. 
So Take go ahead, listen, go ahead and roll me a reflex save to see if you can reach the machine. And bite the, it. The DC is 13. You've reached the <laughs> You've reached the machine, <laughs> Tina. Uh, there is arcing energy all around you as you look at this massive white orb and this hum throughout the machine. Okay. Let me just let's see. <laughs> Pick up a couple tools. Okay, okay. So <laughs> Tina, you pick up a couple tools. Are you gonna try to fix the machine as you yeah. know, okay, Fighting so what you, bolts. I, I'm just adjusting your artifact check here, because it has a CM of six. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and make that roll for me, Tina. Can I leave the room? Um, ho hold on, can we, can, can, we need to figure out, um, because it, it won't let you do the artifact check when you no, click on that every little time D20. I try to, when I try to drag it, it only pulls the number. What if you double click on it? When I double click, it gives me a menu of just filled, like a list filled with errors. Are you, are you, are you double it's clicking just, the CM number or are you double clicking the little nope, dice over by artifact? Little dice. It keeps saying network receive file, warning frame tags. Okay. Are you okay if I roll it then? Cause it'll give us, if yes. if we, if we roll it, it'll give us the result on the table. Yes. <laughs> oh, I rolled a natural 20. That's like three in a row. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Seven. <laughs> wow. We're trying um, to kill you and you're not dying. <laughs> minus seven. You definitely have to come back later. So the artifact, okay. uh, somehow you managed to like, you like, oh, well, this shouldn't be loose. Huh? Huh? <laughs> and before you know it, like there's less energy, less energy, less energy, less energy, and then just a big white glowing orb. I think that did it. And everybody standing by the door is probably just as friggin' surprised as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Told you I'd get it. This is the magic of Tina Horton. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what would you like, Canada Goose? <laughs> what would you like to do now, guys? There is not arcing energy all across the inside of the abdomen. Okay. There is pieces of wood and broken robots everywhere. Can we like take the wood that's inside first? Of course you can. The thing before we try going outside. But I've already cut the trees down. It's okay, we'll go get him in a minute. But my okay. brothers and sister. They did not die in vain. <laughs> <laughs> poor Maple, poor Maple. Okay, so we're bringing yeah, wood. Very dangerous looking log. <laughs> Are I'm we bringing dangerous wood? Dangerous looking log. So we're bringing wood back to the incinerator. Yes. Roll it, Bree. Roll it. <laughs> but the door won't close now, right? Because the Vault doors wedged halfway open. Gotta work Oops. one of these times. Hey, there we go. That works. Okay, so yeah, well, you put the stuff inside. Okay. Actually, no, the door closes when the vault door is open. So yeah, the currently the incinerator door is shut. Would anyone like to make a artifact check to I'll try to it. to <laughs> Do it. Tina? Yeah. Tina comes Tina comes in with like her wrench and tool kit now as she has become like I'm wearing a full tool belt. I'm here. like Tim the tool man Taylor. Okay. Here we go. Here's the artifact che artifact check coming up. Ooh. <laughs> reroll that. Reroll that. Reroll it. Yeah, Would re you like it. to use a reroll? And a yeah. boost. Reroll and a boost. Okay. Are we not trying to kill me now? Yes. <laughs> All right, Tina. Uh, yeah, you're like, oh, here's what I need to do. And you boop, 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 boop. And the door goes and opens. Great. Now what? You got, 
you guys put the wood scraps inside with the like as much wood as it can fit. Yes. Yeah. You you stack all the wood with the element four two six into it. And yeah. then uh Tina needs to make an intelligence check DC DC ten. <laughs> I should be able to do that. We just suck it. <laughs> Hey, hey! <laughs> so uh, once 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 Tina gets all of that wood in again, has gotten used to how to work the incinerator, and you got the uh, the walls of the incinerator glow red for just a moment, and then they dis that and then that redness goes away. You open the door, Tina, and it's now empty inside. The wood that was put in there is gone. However. Uh, Dozer, uh, the, uh, on the holographic deck of this mech, uh, you now, are, the voice tells you that energy levels have reached, uh, 50% of capacity and, uh, you know, you're good to go again. We're halfway charged. Well, we got Make those sure you trees. teach us how to do that before something bad might happen. <laughs> I don't know that we just did case. now. I think what Tina kind of may that? survive. I think, I think maybe. And now she's unless she gets trapped inside. And now a and she's like artificer. She's sort of good <laughs> at working the spider. Maybe it had something to do with her sleep in the tube. Uh, so you march the spider for the next three days, uh, burning up all the wood inside it, um, and you reach so we get three the more wounds back. Yes, everyone can get three hit points back. Unless you would like to put someone in the cryo sleep again, maybe put somebody like the boys in the cryo sleep because they're pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> I should try it out. It's really great. Yeah, we'll check it out. I get a good good night's sleep. Okay. Okay, so uh, Maple Maple can activate the cryo tubes on a DC ten intelligence check. Uh, if anyone else would like to try to do it, they have to make an <laughs> artifact check again. Reroll that. Reroll that. <laughs> Sorry, who is going in? This is Dozer. Sure. Eleven. So we're oh, good. Yeah. I know how to use those. So now. Dozer, you're blasted with a gust of cold air, and then you fall asleep. And you guys watch as Dozer's like blasted with cold air, and then he's like. <laughs> so Dozer, you rest in there for one day during the travel. Great and you, and uh, you get three hit points back for one night's rest in the cryo tube. I'll take my one hit point from sleeping on the floor. You can That's go okay. in there, though. I know how to use them now. I only needed to do two intelligence checks to know how to use yeah. them. Uh, so, listen, your spider mech reaches, reaches the, um, the mountain pass. Now what happened? I don't know. Are you taking the spider up and over the mountain pass, or are you... I mean, if we're going to do that, we should fuel it up all the way. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe spend one more night in the cryo tube. Tubes. <laughs> okay. So Maple can work the cryo tubes now. I teach so everybody rest... how to use them. Everyone resting overnight. Uh, there's some people not smart enough to use it, remember? Ma oh. Maple's Teach me how think, to use it. If you have to, ha in order to work the cryo tubes, you need an intelligence of twelve or higher. Yeah, I'm not because it I, has everybody a tech but level. Me can learn. It has a tech level of four. I teach Dozer. Perfect. And Tina okay. teaches us how to use the incinerator. Um, and all the yeah. doors. Yeah. Oh crap! You know what? I forgot all about Tina's intelligence. Oh well. T Tina is like a <laughs> savant. It is Tina a savant. is a savant because yeah. technically Tina can't work anything above a tech level two, but she's clearly worked <laughs> things above a tech level two. <laughs> I can't explain it this exactly. Is Powers of the guest star. I totally I'm forgot. Uh, okay, so so you power up the the, the spider has a hundred percent power. We go. Oh. The spider two thousand. Are we doing one more night in the in the cryotubes for whoever wants yeah. to use it? Yeah. Go for it. 
I would say have the boys sleep in there at least. Yeah, yeah, let's full. Let's, let's, let's full. assume everyone has max hit points. Okay. And and Ryan, for the purpose of your glow burn, this would be day four. Okay. Um, I'm good to go. Okay. Should we send Tina ahead to fly up and scout? Yeah, for sure. Sounds like a great idea. That. You should stand on the top of the spider uh, between the two orbs. Spider. 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 By derp. Uh, Tina, would you like to fly ahead? I'm just the most enthusiastic participant at this so, point. I've had so many near-death experiences that I'm just like happy. Is this a near-death experience? You're death-proof. I'm actually uh, a revenant. <laughs> just to be, so, is the spider going up into the um, the the pass, or are we waiting for? Um, We're gonna sneak. Are we waiting? Or, Quietly sneak. Come on. In a mess. In a mess. The junk. <laughs> the junk. <laughs> Tina's flying ahead, though. Okay, Tina. Tina goes up and over. You know, Tina goes up and over the mountain pass. And you guys wait. And you wait. And Tina does not return. Oh no, she may be dead or found something else Death to fix. Again. Maybe she's sleeping. Let's go see. I she found a new tired. shiny thing and I'm like, oh, another toy. I can fix I that. I can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> we we get to this mech eventually and like Tina's got the whole whatever it is just under lock. Like. Okay. She's the you, are player. you taking are you taking the spider over to see? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a bomb desolation. <laughs> so as your robo spider comes over the hill, there on the other side is a rather large gathering of foul creatures. Uh -oh. As there as there are Maybe 30 mutant chicken humanoids. Flame on. We're having barbecue tonight. <laughs> and as your as your robo giant robo spider comes over, it comes face to face with a 40 foot rooster. It's a big cock. And Man. next time. Next time, we will have our kaiju battle between the Great Rooster and the Spider 2000. Oh my gosh, that's so... Mac battle! It's, it's morphin' time. I mean, it's morphin' Tina time. Tina got eaten by the, yeah. <laughs> by the rooster, right? Tina got eaten by the rooster. Uh, well, we don't, know what's, we don't know Tina's fate. Don't you know. Don't Tina's see real name is Camilla. Camilla. You don't see T Tina. It's been my uh, plan all along. And and one of one of the one of the foul chicken uh, women uh, yell at yells at the spider. Prepare to face the wrath of the chosen zoo. And that's that's where we'll end uh, this week's. What? Wasteland Saga. <laughs> the Chosen Zoo. Okay. <laughs> okay. <What? laughs> it's another alignment in the game. You're going to love it. Oh, I love it. Uh, uh, we will be back in two weeks for more of this ridiculousness. <laughs> yeah, uh, we we will. will have a kaiju battle between a 40-foot rooster and a uh, significantly large, because we never really got into exactly how big the spider was, but it's big. The Robo Spider versus the Rooster. Spy it Dar. is exact. Yeah, Spy Dar. Yes, it is the Chosen Zoo. That's correct. Z U U. Z for and, our American friends. Yeah, Z. Um, as well as their uh, chicken allies. 
Just saying. We'll have we'll have a new guest in in two weeks. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for coming and checking out MCC. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, you can catch Affy, Artemis, and Corvey over on uh, the Vokter. Uh Check in throughout the week. Uh, they always have games pretty much running over there. Almost every day uh, now. Ryan from CanadianDice.ca. Go and check out his stuff. Um, and Jeff. And 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 Jeff Jeff is my like token old man from Old Men Rolling Dice. Yeah, I do um, stuff sometimes. You do, you do stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be back in two weeks, and and thanks for everybody that checked us out, and uh, thanks for everybody that spent channel points. That don't was cool. forget, you too can be a mutant. Email thevactare at gmail dot com and let us know that you're interested. Or we will get you on. You can be an Emily want. seat. <laughs> And then we'll Not kill you by the end of the episode. And the only deal Unless is you that you're dead by the end house. of the episode. Or yeah. you disappear or like disappear. Tina. I like that Tina is maybe alive somewhere. I think we maybe may now have really a... Income. Maybe Tina will come back as a villain. Tina yes. and Trusty Rusty. And Trusty team Rusty up. didn't die. <laughs> oh, what? I, I have a We're going to have to have a... We're going to have to have an episode where they... All, like all the guests come back as bad guy guests. mutants <laughs> and we fight to the death yeah <laughs> how evil I'm, I'm calling it now Tina was the pilot of the spider and she chained herself up yeah <laughs> tricked us the whole time yeah I agree she was in she cahoots with her them in here. super sus <laughs> Rusty well, never got incinerated shall we call it there yeah let's call it bye call thanks it. ghosty hugs and kisses thanks everyone I think he says. Sorry from Canada.